You knew the warnings. Every town has a place best ignored. The crumbling cottage with skeletons in the walls. The briar choked cemetery, the circle of scarred trees deep in the woods. The place is on the periphery where dark deeds linger. Every town has a beast to avoid. The wolf with the baby's cry, the ragged man with yellow eyes, the rotting horse dragging victims into the ocean. The monsters who attack when you stray from the path. Every town has a superstition to be obeyed, a path walked in groups of three, a skull paraded in the winter months, a summer sacrifice made of straw, the rites that keep the darkness at bay. You knew the warnings, and you came anyway. Welcome to Solemn Vale, a lovely place to spend a day, or to stay forever. I am Tyler, Elder Checkos Online, and I will be your narrator for this series of terrifying tales. We are Vorpal Tales, and we have a variety of terrifying tales and awesome adventures we play twice a day, every day, except one. Go to our website, VorpalTales.com, for our complete calendar, uh, or check out the Twitch channel here. Also, on our website, you can find our social media links, links to our YouTube, our Discord, our Patreon, and our Ko-Fi. Special thanks to Dirty Vortex Games for supporting us playing their awesome game, along with Roll20. Uh, for our being our virtual tabletop, and then myself, Darren Curtis Music, Ghost Stories Incorporated, Insomnia Music for the tunes you'll hear in this tale. Victims of the Weird, tell us who you are and who you're playing in this tale, those of you who know. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Eric. Uh, I'm on Recluse Online, and tonight I will be playing Henry, the dad. Hey everybody, I'm Ambrose. My pronouns are he or they, and you can find me all over the internet as Am Changeling, because it me, Am Changeling. Uh, you can also find me on Etsy at Neat and Co Designs, and tonight I shall be playing Lambert. Don't call him Lammy Bjornsson. Uh, hi, I'm Savannah. You can find me online at Miss Miss Emma Fox, and tonight I will be playing uh, Mary Jacqueline Bornson, the aunt of the story. I am Kay. She, her pronouns. You can find me on the interwebs at popular12398 or 7. And tonight I will be playing Hank Bjornsson, James K. Polk Paladin, ready to uh, throw balls and take names. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rachel. I am Stolen Fires pretty much everywhere. And tonight I will be playing. Uh, the mother, Beatrice, uh, Betty Bjornsson, Nee Lambert, uh, and you are my little Lammy. Lammy. Yeah, you're Lammy. <laughs> mm. Hello, I am Aaron. Uh, I use any, any pronouns. Uh, you can find me everywhere as Great Cthulhu. And tonight I will be playing question marks. Excellent. And now, Lambert, if you would, recap our creation session, please. Oh, oh my. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna recap. He I'm was totally prepared for that. Cap that, that. I'm gonna, gonna cap the, great cap I'm, the cap. I'm, yeah, it's yeah. a great recap re, that re was written by, uh, uh -huh. yeah, precisely. by our mom. Yep. Our mom writes great recaps. Mom the one that you're named after. The best Yep. recaps. Anyway. <laughs> like they pay me a write or something. <laughs> uh, we begin our tale in Solemn Vale, a two-lane highway headed through endless fields of sawgrass somewhere in the Midwest. Henry's driving the station wagon and playing Blue Oyster Cult. Betty tries playing a card game and prevents Hank from bullying Lambert. Brothers don't pee on each other, she scolds. Dad pulls the car over for a short break. Betty keeps an eye on Lambert as he pees into the sawgrass while Mary takes a red wine-flavored jewel break. As Lambert pees, Betty hears the sound of a crying child. She shoves some napkins into Lambert's hands and heads towards the sound. As Lambert bends over to clean his shoes, Hank's football sails over his head into the tall grass and Hank chases it into the grass as well. Watching the two of them disappear into the grass, Mary climbs onto the roof of the car to get a better view. Mary notices a rock and has a strange vision of Betty covered in blood, and Henry drenched in sweat as Lambert sways over an unconscious Hank. The vision fades quickly. 
Henry, noticing his wife and son have gone, chases everyone back into the car as he goes to find the rest of his family. But the car is locked, with the keys inside. Lambert promises Aunt Mary as they wait that she's her favorite aunt. She's... She's his favorite aunt, which means a lot, as Betty has two sisters and three sisters-in-law. Lambert entertains himself by drawing in the dirt, and Mary sees him draw a shadow thing. Before she even knows what she's doing, she grabs the drawing and rips it up. Lambert appears insensate, and Betty has told her how to deal with these fits. She tries speaking to her nephew soothingly, but... Lambert wants to go into the grass and find the rest of his family. Mary notices that Lambert, normally heterochromatic, now has two deep green eyes. His posture and bearing are different, too. But he insists he's fine. He takes her hand, and they head into the grass. Back in the grass, Betty tracks the voice as best as she can. For a moment, she hears the voice as Lambert before sound stops and restarts. She somehow recognizes that the first child wasn't a child at all, and justifies it with the idea that it was just a dying rabbit. She heads back to the highway, but it takes far longer than it should. Betty stops, calling out for her family. Henry is in the grass, looking for his own family. He follows Hank into the grass, losing track of him and getting stuck in the grass for ten minutes. Then he trips over the football. Or would, if the football wasn't trapped in vines. What the dickens? he exclaims, which Betty hears. Although the grass resists her, Betty finds a way to Henry. But they get tangled up and Betty twists her ankle. She explains why she was there, which is when they both noticed the football moving through the grass being dragged by a line. Betty assumes it's one of Hank's pranks. Hank's pranks. <laughs> she scolds him aloud, and they begin following the ball. As for Hank himself, he immediately gets lost in the grass. After about ten minutes, he realizes he's lost and begins panicking, trying to shove the grass down so he can see. He's tall. He's not used to this. He starts running through the grass, looking for anything, anything other than grass. Suddenly, he sees her. Broken, bloody, crushed. Standing in the grass, pointing accusingly. He pivots away, but the girl gives chase. He sprints until his lungs burn, but she's gone. And now, he's even more lost. He hears a small child singing a little song. Lambert, is that you, you little shit? The voice asks. Who is Lambert? Hank begins following the voice. It's a small child covered in dirt and grass and grime and sweat. He pulls out a granola bar and some hand sanitizer and tries to clean him up. The grass doesn't move dead things. It only moves living things, he says. If I put the dead things, I don't get lost anymore, he says, wrapping grass around a dead rabbit. Hank asks if the kid has a name. After a moment, Tommy. The kid says something about the big rock where his dad was going. They bond, and the kid explains more about how the grass doesn't move green things. He lifts the child over his shoulders, or at least tries to. But the kid cannot describe anything except the rock. Oh, and the church. He mentions the aunt, and Hank gets confused. The kid seems to imply they've met before. Trying to navigate... Hank sees the sun visibly move backwards, and the kid has disappeared. He hears a noise to the south, a car coming to a stop. 
He hears his dad talking about football and Lambert talking about having to pee. And then he hears himself. That's when something tackles him from behind. It's the kid from before. Stop talking, he scolds. If you shout, they'll come in the grass. It can't be your fault, he says before yelling for help. Or would, if he doesn't tackle the kid. He thinks to himself, coach taught me well. Go paladins, before he says it out loud. Back to Marion Lambert. They enter the grass, holding hands. Mary calls out for her brother or sister-in-law. Lambert says they can't hear her anyway. Lambert speaks cryptically about knowing a secret. But Mary catches on that Lambert is trying to lead her in a specific direction. She stops and refuses to go further. But Lambert is determined to get to the rock. Then things change. Lambert is different now. His eyes have reverted back and he wonders what they've been doing in the grass. A man stumbles into their area holding a knife. He asks if they've seen his son, Tommy. He's confrontational, but Mary insists they haven't seen Tommy. The man says if they want to get out of here, they have to help him find Tommy. But the two of them are skeptical. Sure, they can leave the grass whenever they want. The man seems to know more than they do. And says the next time they find him, he can help them find the church if they help him find Tommy. The church bells begin to ring. Thank you. Great Cthulhu. Let's make a character. All right. Solemn Veil vale is fast and easy, so you're going to make a character live, and then you're going to use all that delicious side info I've been dumping on you for five minutes. Why don't you make this character? <laughs> Sounds good. You will not be a member of this family like the rest of them. However, I do have plans once we figure out who you are. Uh, there should be a PDF sh character sheet posted in this room, perhaps, possibly, maybe. Oops, the wrong room. Uh, it's not a PDF; it's just an image. Oh, okay. But you can you can utilize it however you'd like. I just uh, tagged you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thanks. So essentially, in Solemn Vale, everything is a D6 roll. Sometimes with modifiers, sometimes with more than one D6. Uh, the number of dice you can roll and or modifiers is determined by group pools, like Modiphius uses, and by your stats that you can spend like burnable points. Okay. So we have to set your stats. As you can see on that PDF, there are three. You have 15 points to split between them. Nice. None can be less than three. All right. Well, mine's probably based on the info I've been dumped on. Mine's probably gonna be a three. And none can be more than nine. Okay. Let's do mine three. Um. Math. Uh. Let's do body five and then soul seven. Yeah, that sounds good. You also get two facets for each attribute. Facets are words that describe the attribute or phrases. They don't have to be positive or negative. They can be whatever they want. We're going to go around and then get, have you get some examples from everyone else. Eric, give us one of your intelligence facets. Intelligence forgetful. Miss Fox, give us one of your soul facets. Uh, blank canvas. Prometheus, give us one of your mind facets. That's that's Rachel. Oh, <laughs> stolen fire, yes. Uh, mind facet, uh, Greendale Alum. Lover of puppies, give us a body facet. Uh, Team Thor. And Ambrose, give us a body facet. Asthmatic. Those are some ideas of what we're looking for. Okay, okay. Mm. 
uh, come up with a quick idea in your head of this person. Doesn't have to be super detailed. The rest of them are a family. And this is a... This particular folk horror story is... The family trying to heal past wounds, taking a trip across country, gets lost in the middle of nowhere. We weren't lost. We knew exactly where we were going. So what's going to happen is, once you pick your character, you can DM me the gender and or lack of gender and uh, sexuality and or lack of sexuality, and I will tell you how you're connected to this family. Spicy! <laughs> I love that. The spice. The spice. Oh, Hank's Here partner. Alright. What? What? Oh, I said Hank's partner. Spicy. Uh -oh. Yeah, no, I mean, Tyler's gonna uh, figure out who's ex Aaron's gonna be playing. Oh, oh my. Or, we have many oh. options. Or angry relative of ex that person hurt. Yes, one of the two. Oh, shit. Or something like that. Or, you know, our real dad. <laughs> You're not my real dad. He is your real dad. <laughs> Lord, children. Uh, for context, the Solemn Vale games are in a nebulous time in a nebulous place. You exist in the Midwest of America in a time when Woody Station Wagon still exists, but so does High Speed Internet. TV is playing... Uh, very uh, X Files fair. That's about as edgy as it gets. Even though you're watching those shows on big flat screens, so you just exist in a nowhere place that merges the '80s and the '90s and the current era. All right, I this have is a very nuclear best. family. Noted. Let me update my name. Ooh, ooh, I have a suggestion for a relative. Okay. Aunt Mary's uncle's cousin's stepsisters. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Former roommate. Former roommate. Get out of here. What's... Oh, I forgot Grandpa or coach. What's the weird stat? Do I have anything on that? So, uh, the weird is uh, a pool of points that replenishes every scene equal to number of players plus one. So, there are always seven. Yeah. You can take from it at any time. This is not like Modifius. You should not get group consent. You should just do it when you want to. When you take a point of weird, you can take it after you see the result of your roll. But each point of weird you take out of the pool either adds plus one to your total or does a variety of possible special effects, which I think are pinned. If they're not, I'll make sure they are to the room within the game. However, every time you take a point of weird, your personal weird stat goes up by one. If your personal weird stat hits, what's our lucky number, K? Ten. Ten. You lose. You're part of the weird. You become part of Solemn Vale. I get to use you however I want. Or you die. It could or just be death. Yes. Uh, side note, also, Tyler can randomly assign weird based on shenanigans at hand, so don't think, like, I'll just get up to nine, and then won't have to worry, because Tyler can do things. Also, the reason you have attributes is, if you come up against a roll, and I tell you the difficulty is ten, and you're looking at that single d6, you can spend an attribute point, point by point, to get extra d6s on the roll, but they're permanently spent. And when you run out of attribute points, it's scratched out and you get terrible side effects. But you can recover attribute points depending on things you're doing on in-between sections and or possibly embodying uh, your, like, characteristics that you've given your character. Noted. On the negative side, though, I will also take points off to represent damage, mental, physical, or spiritual. Just don't burn those real fast, either. But you have to be, if you spend attribute points, though, it has to be done before you roll. Weird is after, attribute spend is before. Yeah. So currently, your weird pool total, because you've been in the sawgrass for a while, is already at two. Ooh. Oh, spicy. <laughs> it's fine. We're oh, matching. I, I'm also at two. Should I drop my facets, or, or are those no, kept secret? No, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, you can, tell, you can tell us all about those. Let's hear them. All right, sure. Uh, so body uh, is skin and bones and scavenger. Uh, mind is manic and quick-witted. And then soul is seen too much and reverent. Glorious. Spicy. Uh, I also think that your character ought to make a habit of uh, doing shots of diesel. Because uh, we have just been <laughs> raided by diesel shot. Hello, diesel shot. Oh, Thank you diesel for the shot. raid. Welcome for the raid. Yes, their other, their other, their other soul that. facet is shots of diesel. <laughs> Your third skull facet. It does a body good. Yum. 
That's how you've survived this long in the grass. Shots of teeth. <laughs> Tell me if you oh, prefer so one or two, Great Cthulhu, and I will oh. inform the included person. Oh, two. A hundred. A hundred two. <laughs> All right. I must side message number two and inform them of such. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a... Excited? Scared? Excited? It's, scared, it's excited. spicy. It's spicy. Uh, the person who's about scared, to get us the person who's about to get a side message. Let me know if you're okay with this. Fingers crossed, because you want it, you don't get it. In the arms of an angel song plays. I know we're all such suffer puppets. We're like, oh, we we all we me. all just want to suffer. We're like, pick me, <laughs> pick me, let me suffer. My money is on Eric. That seems right. Push those eyebrows away, Ambrose. <laughs> Can't they're attached to my face? Not if I shave them off. You wouldn't do that. They're glorious. <gasps> Spicy. Do it. <laughs> you can have an eyebrow. You want to play? Off. You want to play that bet? I'll win. <laughs> so will this fly, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm controlling it with my mind powers. You All right, so to three of my eyebrows. Three of us are talking, so that means it's either <laughs> it's either Eric or Rachel. I'm good at multitasking, so I was muted, so I don't. I, that's my excuse. Are 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 you good at multitasking? <laughs> that, 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 that is the art of screwing more than one thing up. Yes. Also, your <laughs> arms are moving and out properly. Hush, Eric. <laughs> Um, Oh no, we temporarily lost Hank. Oh no. No, hey. Oh, no. Okay, can you can you see me? Can you yeah, hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's very very windy uh, here in Boston. Uh, we actually have level gale force winds, so shenanigans hopefully windy. will not ensue. I apologize to whatever setup that I probably messed up. <laughs> oh. oh, me and Ambrose didn't move actually. Oh, and Eric too didn't move. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, I'm a mom. Cool. I'm the mom now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lammy, do your homework. Eat your peas. <laughs> so. Stick the peas up your nose. <laughs> oh, excuse me, up your nose. Nose. <laughs> when the scene resumes, we are exactly where we are where the recap ended. So I will leave it to the characters from that scene. Uh, Betty will start moving towards the sound of the church bells under the assumption that's what the rest of her family is going to do and we can reunite that way. Oh, wait, 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 watch your leg, honey. Wait, 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 rushes over to her side and the companies are like, where are you going? Oh, we, we've got to get to the bells. It's going to draw everybody. The bells. Is the church around here? It's like so it's trying to like peek over the tall grass. Obviously can't do it, but <sighs> have you seen the boys? Have you heard, have you heard anything? Have you heard well, any no. sounds from the boys? I haven't uh, No, that that's no, why we've got to go towards the bells, because they will as well, and, and that's how we can meet up. I think it's I think idea. it's this way. Hey, boys, if you can hear the bells, head towards the bells. Uh, Isaiah, you hear that shouting. It's been a week since you saw anyone else besides the rock. Yeah, I will, um... 
based on where the voice is coming from versus where the bells are coming from, I'm going to try to intercept before they get to the church. You succeed. So go ahead and burst out of in the grass in front of them and describe yourself in all your glory. You have the scene. <laughs> yes, so Isaiah burst forth, uh, mostly skin and bones at this point. Um, clothes are haggard. Um, whatever brand they used to be is lost to the grass at this point. Um, hair is down to shoulders and is dreaded at this point. Um, I haven't, I, uh, Isaiah hasn't seen a bath in a long time. Oh my goodness, are you all right? You can't go to the church. But who are you? He pauses and thinks. I'm Isaiah. But do you need help, sir? You, you look awful. I'm trying to help you. Don't go to that church. <laughs> well, what's in the church? Something bad. <laughs> Have you seen our sons? Uh, yeah, hi, uh, baseball cap. Go Paladins! Uh, you have not. I've not seen anyone for weeks. I mean, my, You've been my out here for weeks? Out here. Well, my, my sons are out here and they might head that way too, so uh, let's at least go in that direction so we can intercept them. I won't go near the church, but I'll, I'll do my best. Straight lines don't work like straight lines here. Uh, what? Do we have any water or anything that we can that we can give give Isaiah? Uh, I, uh, uh, he looks in his fanny pack. Does he have like a bottle of water? Yes. You're okay, a prepared yes. individual. <laughs> I pull out that. I like, zip it open. And like, oh, uh, here you go, sir. <laughs> Just slams it like. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you've been out here for a week. How are you? How are you still alive? I, what happened to you? I. I got lost in the grass. What is it about this place? I, my 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 boys are. Uh, one of those is over there on the street with 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 our uh, with his aunt. Uh, the other one got lost in here looking for. A, did you see a football? Did you see? Uh, it, it should have the uh, the name of the school on it. Have you have you seen that? No. They. It's. I just stay lost in here for a week. What is this place? <laughs> You might have been here in longer than a week. Who knows? No, Hank, Hank. Hey, can you hear me, buddy? Hank, it's your dad. I'm here with mom. Shit. This place Not is- Not even a breeze. The church if bells stop. Church here, we, we, we could- if there's a church nearby, there's people there, right? They can help us, right? They no. can call 911. They... There's not people in that church. Well, somebody's ringing the bells. There's got to be somebody there, sir. Something's ringing the bells. Oh, it's on a clock. It's on a clock. So, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody has to be able to, to, to call. Uh, so, so we, can get, we can get some help here. Uh, we're, we're, our, our sons are missing, and we got separated uh, for the rest of our uh, our family. Yeah, there's, it's there's very a, hot out here. There's a better, safer place. Show, okay, can you show us? Yes, yes. Oh, but no, will will the boys know to go there? It's people have a way of finding it sometimes. All oh, right. What is it? Where is it? Follow me. I'd like to take them to the the rock. Excellent. He uh, he gives uh, Betty. Uh, are are you, are you down for this, or is this guy full of shit? Like, kind of look like for a second. Like, uh, should we uh go the other way now, or should we go uh, call him? Betty gives a what choice do we have? Sort of shrug. <sighs> okay, 
anything happens, just run, okay? It's almost as if the grass guides you and gets out of your way. It takes no time at all to get to a very large boulder amidst the field of sawgrass. Uh, as you approach it, it confuses you at first because it sparkles and catches light almost like it's crystalline. Even though when you get right up to it, it's just limestone. Maybe more porous than regular limestone, but still limestone. He slaps it and he's like, this is a sturdy looking rock. Uh, Isaiah actually does something similar, like patting an old friend on the back. <laughs> uh, I, I circle the rock uh, looking for archives of our past adventures. Uh, because we've just been raided by the Adventure Archive. Two hey. raids in one night. We're on a roll. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, raiders. It's about to get weird. Uh, uh, sir, Mr. Isaiah, um, could mm. you get a good look see of what where were you at if we get on top of your Before that rock happens. here? <laughs> you touch the rock. Uh, names. Henry, you touch the rock. Henry. And as soon as you rub your hand across it, you're yanked into. A vision? You don't know what to call it. It's like you're watching a scene unfold. You see... Uh, you... You... Hold on. I gotta see how I want to do that. Spicy. Yes. Quite... <laughs> You see the day that uh, that thing happened. That thing with Mary that you never talk about. And you see the scene unfold as if you're standing outside the place that it happened. As if the person standing there had a bird's eye view. You know, like someone who was eavesdropping or able to take pictures or able to perfectly record said incident. And all of whatever emotions you feel when you remember said day come flooding back. And then you get a staggered little time jump of what happened after. And how that ended up. Oh boy. He sort of recoils and just kind of like. <sighs> what was that? Oh, did, did, did they talk to you? What? Who? <sighs> he kind of looks he looks around and uh, pointedly not looking at Betty. Um, <laughs> what? What is that? What, what, what was that? I told you the boulder is a safe place. It helps. I don't, I don't think it's helping. I just wanted to climb the rock and get a better view of, of where we're at. This is like a maze. If I give you a boost, can you get on there? Sure. Okay. Okay. And he like goes and like gives him a boost. <laughs> Does it affect him like when he touches it? Uh, when you touch it, you just hear the things you normally hear. Okay. So, I don't know, do you react? Or is it old hat for you by now? I think it's old hat at this point. You notice no reaction. He looks over to Betty and just mouths the words, Don't touch the rock. Are you okay. alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> So, you boost uh, Isaiah up onto the rock. You see what you saw last time you climbed the rock, Isaiah, which is a never-ending field of sawgrass, and then the church, 
and the parking lot around it and the highway that connects to the church. It's the only place you can see the highway from. It just kind of disappears into a haze anywhere else you look. It's just sawgrass everywhere else. Maybe a tree every now and then or a boulder. I don't, I don't see anything. It's just grass and the church. A voice so whispers kind of into your head, Henry. And my voice right now, because I'm getting over sick, won't let me whisper, but it is whispering. It says, we can help you fix it. That thing you regret. That's impossible, sir. Uh, the highway was right there. <laughs> okay. It's just, well, you didn't go in for more than just five minutes. I maybe walked into this place for five minutes. That's impossible. In the grass? There, there has to be a way. There has to be a way to get back to the highway. Time has no meaning. We can take you all the way back to before. Shut then. up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All we require is a little token. Or blood. No, 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 no. <clears throat> no, no. You're all hearing him, but not what he's hearing. Henry, are you, are you all right? I, I, I don't know what's... I, I, I think I got a contact high. I, I don't know what that is, but uh, I, I do not want to touch it again. And I, I don't think anybody should... Touch. Sir, are you okay? Do you need more water? I'm okay. It doesn't hurt when it takes, though. It's fine. What? What? What is it? What are you talking? What? What does it take? What? What? What did it want? You should you just give it. You know where the freeway is? Can you see it? Can you see anyone moving in the grass? No. I can see the highway, but you won't get there. Where? 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 Where is it? Is it that way? Right? Right? <laughs> He'll vaguely point towards where the highway is. <laughs> yeah, I was right. I was right. And he kind of like, looks over at, at Betty. He's like, we should probably be going now. He looks closely at Isaiah and he studies him just to see if there's uh, uh, any hint that like he seems to be agreeing with the voices. Like if there's any tell that he has, he just he's like scrutinizing him just to see uh, where he falls on that. Because you see, he said you should listen to them. And that's like a big red flag going off in his head right now. Henry and Betty. Roll soul. Difficulty seven. Oh, fuck. We roll 2d6. Only if you spend a point of soul. Okay. Otherwise, it's just 1d6. Yep, which means you can't succeed without either spending a point or buying weird. Because it's oh, a 7. God. I have 4 weird. Could I spend... I think you could spend that, right? No, that means you've already accrued it. You have to buy more from the pool, which in this scene has 7 points. All right. Increasing will... your weird, which is almost halfway to end it already. <laughs> I will spend a point of soul. Okay. I'll increase my weird by one, being that I'm hearing voices now, uh, to five, and I'll roll 2d6. Nope. Seven? Spending Seven. weird only gives oh. you a plus one. You have to spend uh -oh. soul to get a second d6. Oh, never mind. I, yeah. thought, oh, okay. I thought weird was a plus to, to the, uh, plus an actual die. Nope, just a single plus one. But you can spend guess... weird after you see the result of the roll. You can I'd only spend, spend attributes before you roll. Ah, oh, roll I the twelve. One. Oh dang! <laughs> What'd you get, uh, Henry? I got seven exactly. I rolled a five and a two. Oh, I spent nice. the one point of soul. Okay. You both very much want to touch the boulder, but you don't have to. You're not forced to. You can resist. However, it will sap your will, and you will lose a point of mind if you do. Uh, Betty will step closer to the boulder uh, and say to Isaiah, like, Sir, if the highway is down there, why don't you come with us? We can give you a ride into town. Oh, you won't make it to the highway. We're safe here. It's If you can see it, you can get, you can get over there. I mean, what what's stopping us? You have to go by the church. But the church is that way, you said. And you, we shouldn't go to the church? No. All right, well, um, you obviously need help, but 
I need to go find my children before something happens to them. I think that ship sailed. All right. Well, you can you can come with us if, if you'd like. Uh, Let us help you get out of here. <clears throat> uh, we, we're looking for our children. Sure, I'll, I'll help you. He'll he'll slide off the boulder, awkwardly. <laughs> Okay. And you both choose to resist touching the boulder? Yes. Yeah. Subtract one mind each. Oh, Mental, no. From Please the mental exhaustion. <laughs> yeah. Mind three, soul three. Okay. One places. Okay. I'll leave these two as best I can. Okay. Switching back to you other two. The other two of you that are still together. I was just like, there's more than two of us left yes. to talk to. Hank, however, has his own problems to deal with. <laughs> and also, Hank isn't by himself. He has a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Mary and... Hey, you're muted. I have a small child that has lured me into this hellhole named Tommy. <laughs> Mary and Lambie, what are you doing? After Lambie that Tommy. weird guy wanders back into the grass. Um. See, that would require me to remember. So the really weird, <laughs> the emaciated, little... disheveled guy showed up and no, tried to get I, you to chase him to the. To go, yep. to go find his son Tommy. I remembered that, but you're... I can't remember if Lambie was being creepy before or after that. Uh, Lambie had huh. returned to normal before the session ended. Okay. okay. And with yeah. no memory of being creepy. Got it. Um, I know we had said something before we ended last session, and I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. Listen, there's of... church bells. You hear him? Hey, Mary, church bells. Um, yeah, again, let's, let's head toward the church bells. Maybe the others will be there too. Yeah. Also, does that mean we have to go to church? Like church service? We have to no. sit in a no, sermon honey. and okay. Um she uh grab uh Lambie's hand uh and starts leading him uh through. Um she's not really pushing through the grass. You don't like have to. Because the second you say, okay, let's go to the church, the grass parts and creates a path. What? That's fine. Uh, but I was also just going to tell you that she more listens with her ears to guide her than, than looking for directions. Even okay. if the... So. Is this grass haunted? Probably, honey. Oh. Almost assuredly, yes. But no, it literally moves out of the way, creating like an actual pathway with no grass, with just dirt. Yep, this grass is haunted. And you can see through the path directly to the church. Do you continue anyways? Yes. I continue, unless Lambie makes me stop. He does not. Okay. He do, does so when the grass parts and it shows the church, does it also show like a road that the church is on? So from inside, without looking from the top, you can't actually see the uh, highway because it's on the back side of the church. You could only see that if you were on the boulder. So you cannot see the parking lot either, just the church building itself. The back side of a church. Oh. Okay. We lost K. Yep. No. Maybe, maybe there's a. <laughs> what are you 
you trying to tell me? Maybe there's a road. What do you mean, maybe it's a road? Churches are on roads. Oh, well, yeah. I don't see a road, though. Well, maybe once we get there, we can figure our way back out to the car, not through the field. Hey, Mary, are we going to die? No, honey, no. But the grass is haunted. The grass is being strange, yes, but you're not Maybe it's aliens. Maybe, but you're not going to die, Lammy. Mm. I feel like I've seen this movie before. It does kind of seem like one of those weird... Are we in a horror movie? Horror movies? No. I don't see Are we going to see the scream guy? I hope not. Oh, okay. I... Yes. <clears throat> let's, uh... Let's just go to the church. And we can figure it out from there. Maybe... Maybe your mom and dad are already there. And... and and the boy. Speaking of the boy. Yes, the boy would like to be let back in. <laughs> okay, I have I have switched what I am on, so hopefully it will be more stable. Sorry and for the interruptions. It's actually perfect timing because the scene was about to switch to you anyways. Oh, spicy. Mm-hmm. Scene returns to you and the church bells that everyone can hear. Yeah, so I, I look at Tommy, uh, who I've got sort of in like this grapple hole with a hand over his mouth, and I slowly pull it back. And I'm like, what's going on with those church bells? Is there a church in here? Is that how we get out? As soon as the bells start tolling, the boy looks terrified and disappears into the grass, just sprints away. I'm holding him. I'm holding him. Oh, yeah. He tears right out of your grasp like he's covered in oil. Uh, Except I run after him. Yeah, yeah. I run after him. I'm like, get back here and explain shit. God, you're worse than Lambert, you little ass. (laughs) Make an obstruction roll. An obstruction roll? That's, That's like physical, physical, yeah. Yeah, okay. I've got, I've got body to spare. This feels important. I'll spend a uh, body. Get myself a sec home place. Ooh, okay, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, the grass stiffens in front of you, and it's like pushing through medium thick tree branches. You manage to do so, but it slows you down and you don't know where the kid went. You think you have a guess, though, because you can hear the noise of somebody moving through the grass. You gonna follow the noise? Yeah, I'm gonna follow the noise. I'm like, God damn it. Get, just get over here, kid. How are you outrunning me? I, I made state champions. A few minutes later, you burst out of the grass in front of a giant limestone boulder. Fucking rock? fuck's a rock doing here do i see anyone or do i just see a rock just the rock uh i look at the rock do i notice anything make a soul roll difficulty seven ah fudgicles what do you smell what the rock is cooking (laughs) uh sorry my jokes got a little bolder uh (laughs) get out um Let's see. I'm not going to spend a point because I have low ass soul. So I'm just going to pray. Nope, there's no way I can save from that. So I fail. I got two. Okay. You just walk right up to it and put your hand on it because that's what you want to do. Yeah. I'm with this fucking dumb rock, 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 you're dumb. Eh. You relive the whole thing. Only this time it's as if you were the driver. I puke. On the rock. Okay. <laughs> the rock absorbs it. Like it's porous. Fucking trippy bullshit. 
You stumble Stiff. backwards and fall on your ass. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Whew. This isn't... I didn't... I didn't eat the edible yet. What the fuck? Did I eat the edible? And he, like, checks his pocket for the edible brownie he took in case the family... Well, actually, no, he wouldn't... He can't do edibles. I would show up in his blood. Never mind. I'm about to say, Hank... You can't I'm do not edibles. mad, I'm just disappointed. Oh, wait, you know, let's trace. I'm not, I didn't start drinking yet to deal with them. I didn't. And he'll check out uh, that flask that he has hidden in his pocket. That is probably filled with, like, the worst fucking vodka ever. And see if it's full or if it's empty. Or... <laughs> it is, it's the $9 plastic bottle kind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's empty? No, it's got, it's full. Oh, okay. It's full. Yeah, I haven't drank. What the fuck? How old is Hank again? He's like... 17 about to be 18. <laughs> we are not telling your mother about that. <laughs> uh, Henry! A voice whispers in your head. We can make that go away. You can make what go away? Wait, who's there? That Fucking thing, show yourselves. The thing you did, the thing we just reminded you of. I didn't... That wasn't... I didn't... It was a mistake. It, it was an accident. That accident's fucking happened. I didn't. We didn't. It doesn't. Didn't happen. We can make it go away. You've already seen what we can do with time. Okay. Can you like face me when you're gonna talk to me? Like, I'm. I'm not a good like. I'm a visual kind of learner here. Like, bruh. We can make it go away. We just need you to bring us something in exchange. Okay. What the fuck do you want? Your brother. What the fuck do you want that dork for? Doesn't matter. We can make it go away. Like, are you gonna, like, do anything to him? Nothing that he doesn't let us do. Okay, see, like, I've watched those, like, things, and I don't know if he's at an age where you can appropriately say no. It's not him we want. It's what's inside of him. See, that doesn't sound like any better. That sounds kind of creepy. I've seen after school specials. Like, my mom made me watch a lot of them. You've seen his episodes. You know they're not normal. Well, yeah, he's a little freak. There's two of him. We want the other him. Oh, fuck. There's two and you want one? Yes, yeah, so I don't fucking want to deal with more than one of him. Bring his, your brother, and we will make right. it like it never happened. Well, fucking take me to him, and I'll bring him here. A path opens in the grass. And he just starts trudging like along this. The three of you path. that are moving towards the church, and you would notice this first, Isaiah. The grass opens behind you. Let me unmute first. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, hey, uh, whoever you two are, one second. He's going to start backtracking. The path opens and you see a kid at the other end, clear at the rock, start running towards you. Teenager. Is this one yours? Are you the person that was talking to me? Uh, do, do we see? Do we see Hank? Yes. <gasps> Hank, oh my goodness, I was so worried. Hank, oh, oh, my God. Oh, hey, Mom. Are you, are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fucking fine. What do you mean am I? It's fine. Listen, we gotta find Lambert. Oh, yeah, Fuck have you it. seen what? him? What? No, I, I haven't just... seen the nerd. But uh, we need to bring him to the rock, apparently. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So, 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 uh, he's with the, uh, Mary at the car. He, he's out by the highway. Maybe. He's I not in know. here, right? I don't know. I'm Isaiah, in not your my head. my responsibility. In your head, Isaiah. You've been here for so long. Would you like to leave? Yes. Help us. Bring the boy. Lambert. This one? The one, no, the smaller one. Help okay. this yeah, one bring us that one. Did you find the ball? I haven't found the ball yet. God, you're okay, Hank. <laughs> oh my God. That was no, of course, Denver, we're here. in fucking grass. Why am I not okay? <laughs> Watch your mouth. Uh, let's go find your brother first, okay? And let's let's all calm down. Uh, there's it's, gotta be a way out of this place and back to the car. It's, it's, and Mary it's, it's, and Lambert are waiting for us. 
It's very important we find the small one, yes. Yeah, Lambert. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, he kind of like holds up a hand to Isaiah's like, we find a very nice man uh, in the grass and uh, he's been here a while and I, I think he needs some help. Uh, yeah, no, so... I think he offered me a deal. I'm going to take it. But anyway, Lambert! Wait, you you, you, just, you talk, you know this guy? I... He like spoke to me, I think. The no. voice is not the same, if that matters. To oh, it's not the voice the same? I, I feel like Hank just thinks it's him because he can't yeah. think of another logical right. explanation. So he's just like, it's him. Wait a minute, wait, wait. You told me you didn't see my son. I didn't Did see you? your son. No, I didn't see him, but like I heard him. He told me that uh, he needs me to bring Lambert to the rock. And I double checked. I was like, hey, is this one of those like after school special things? And he's like, no, we're good. So I think it's okay. Is that, is that true? Yeah, he wants something inside of Lambert. <laughs> oh well all the alarm bells are going off now and he's just like <laughs> but it's cool it's cool I it's mean, cool though yeah yeah it's, cool, it's though. real no, cool no no, no dad it's, it's fine because there's totally cool. two there's like two mm -hmm. lamberts and like honestly that sounds like way too much lambert so i think we can just give one to, to him and like the rock he's not even listening good. at this point he's like ah oh, okay betty honey i need you to get hank and get him back to the car okay i'll be right behind you well, we've got to find Lambert first. We've got to find Lambert. We'll find yeah. Lambert. Well, well He's yeah. Clearly in yeah. danger. Uh huh. And he just kind of not pushes him out that way. Obnoxious. Hank, uh, help your mother. She's been hurt. Look at her leg. Oh, Get wait, her back shit, mom. Car. Yes. Fucked up your ankle. Help your mother. I'm right behind you. He picks up a rock and turns around to look at Isaiah. <laughs> There's so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to beat this guy in that sentence. <laughs> Yeah, like Stay Hank's away from bent him. down at the ankle, trying to wrap it. Like as no. as they as they recede into the grass, he turns towards Isaiah. He's like, you "Get near my son! I'll bash your fucking brains!" And you understand me? The grass. Stay away from my family. The grass will not let Betty or Hank progress. You can try to make body rolls. Difficulty is nine. Oh fuck! I mean, honestly, Hank doesn't really want to go anywhere. He wants to just find Lambert so they can fucking. He could get you know his sweet deal, and also like again, two Lamberts nowhere near. Just like, yeah. so he's just like, yeah, let's just like, Dad, you're being weird. Stop threatening the old guy. Like he he's really weak. And that doesn't look good on you. It's cool when I shove nerds into lockers, but you're kind of past that. Point uh, okay, that, that's you're not gonna talk down to me, young man. I, go turn him back around. Help your mother, and let's get out of this grass, please. Uh, Never yeah. tears his eyes is off of Mosiah. Like an older man, or is he like our okay. age? He's, he's 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 their age. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which uh, there in like the eighteen? The, I'm assuming or like the the, the 30s, adults forties. The forties. Forties. Okay. okay, so you're like a, you're in your forties. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Betty uh, does not want to leave the field. Uh, oh, okay. Because Lambert. Oh, also, is I found that kid, Mom. Clearly in danger. Mom, I is found that kid. kid? Yeah, what his kid? name is Tommy. Oh. I think he was like four. Uh, he was tying like a dead bunny to grass, and he also he was the one who screamed. But there was like a whole weird thing, and he was running around. I think his mom is like hurt or something. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of weird people here. But he's a little shit. He kept running away from me. He looks over at Isaiah to see if there's any recognition of what Hank no. is saying about nothing at all. No. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of weird people here, son. Let's keep moving, please. We can't Betty. actually move, Dad. Betty, where is it you're trying to go then? Uh, she. So you said that the grass opened up. <clears throat> If you think about heading towards the church, it creates a path for you, yes. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so she probably has the thought process of where is Lambert? I want to find Lambert. Uh, well, based on like the family safety drills we've done, he's probably at the church, so let's go to the church. The grass snaps open, creating a path. Just in time for you to see at the end of that path, uh... Mary and Lambert stepping out of the sawgrass and into the backyard of the church. We see them? Like, yes. From the back. Oh, they they, means, heard, they yes. heard me. Lambert. They heard me, Betty. Lambert. You can hear your parents, Lambert. Dork. And your brother. Oh, no. It's Bert, are you, are you okay, son? It's hanging. You're yelling because they're like a quarter mile away. Maybe not that far, but... Yeah, Hank starts running. He's gonna start running towards Lambert. Do you turn around, Hank? Hey, and Mary! Hold on, Hank. And Mary! Normally, he tackles me when he's running like that. <laughs> How old Why? is Slammy again? Twelve. 
okay, so too big to pick up. So <laughs> she uh, she like squeezes his hand reassuredly, and she definitely like body blocks Lammy from the oncoming Hank. <laughs> Do the rest no, of you is- rest start running up to the adults? As as fast as I can on a wounded foot, but yes. What about Henry? I'm helping her along, and I'm keep, I keep throwing glances behind my shoulder, like making sure we're not being followed by weirdo uh, McTavish over here. What about Isaiah? <laughs> oh yeah, he's not running, but yes. <laughs> okay. Hey. So what's hey, gonna hey, happen hey, is what's gonna happen is Hank's gonna get there first, and you'll have time to get a couple sentences out with Mary before Mary recognizes Isaiah when he gets close okay. enough, Who's and vice name? versa. Uh, uh, so yeah, so Hank's running, he's running, he's gonna get there, and he's gonna look, and he's gonna find, he's like, hey Mary, get out of the way, I need to borrow the dork. And he's gonna, like, kneel down to just fucking, like, put him over his shoulder. No! No! Uh, no! Hank, no! Don't, don't no, do I, this to it, your brother. No, it's fine, this is, like, for his betterment and my betterment. I can't deal with two Lamberts. What are you, I'm gonna pee There's on you! Lambert, Hank. Uh, you, stop fucking trying to pee on me, you weirdo. I'm gonna, and, and I'm gonna pee try on you! Lift. I'm just lifting. No! And, and that is <laughs> when Mary and Isaiah recognize each other. Before that, Mary is like keeping herself between Hank and Lambert. It's up to Mary if she keeps doing that when she recognizes Isaiah. Uh, when she recognizes Isaiah, um, she sticks Lambert behind her and just shoves Hank. How? Your tiny girly hand didn't like hurt, but you still touched him. <laughs> Make a, uh, I'm going to need Hank to make a physical roll. Difficulty eight. Ooh, spicy. Uh, uh yeah. I'll, what the fuck? Tiny girl in here, what? Uh, yeah, I'll spend a point for this. I want to fucking succeed. Um, 12. So, what happens is... Did you is... spend, how many... I got two sixes. Guys? I got two sixes. Oh, did you? Yeah. Please add one weird to your total. Ah, shit. Damn it. <laughs> Tank the tank. <laughs> Listen, I'm a football player. Paladin's proud. Are, are we supposed to do that whenever we roll double he, sixes? He spent a point of body. Well, sh- oh. she, but he is in the yeah. character. Yes. <laughs> no, we, we, we got we, you. We, we got it. We got it. Uh, well, so when I spent my point of soul for the extra dice, I also got 12? That that wouldn't have mattered in that case. Okay. This, the double sixes or rolling any six only matters if, depending on what I'm doing to you. Uh, Spicy. When Mary shoves you out of the way, the grass tangles you up in your feet and is trying to yank you down to assist Mary in remove, getting you out of the way. But uh, you're caught under the arms by someone else catching you and yanking you away from the grass. And that's when you all realize people have materialized out of the church during all of this chaos. Huh? And one of them Uh-oh. has grabbed Hank to stop him from falling is pulling him away from the grass. And uh, two more have exited. One is um, moving towards Lambert. The two that I'm referring to first are dressed in uh, solid black heavy wool button-up shirt, solid black heavy wool pants. These are clearly uh, homespun, homemade. They're wearing work boots, and they have uh, black caps on that are somewhere between a bowler cap and a Mennonite cap, but not really either. And uh, the other one that comes out Looks similar, except he has, like, some kind of weird cape on covered in strange Christian iconography that's a little different than what you're used to seeing. And he doesn't oh, have a hat. Of... And he has hey, look... a big white beard, like, really long, and really long white hair like he's really old. And he looks around, and he's carrying a walking stick, because he's old. And he picks it up and slams it into the ground, and, like, he's Gandalf or something. Like, it makes a boom like thunder, and he says, that's enough. Oh, hey, thanks for catching me, bro, but uh, could you, could you let go of my arms, bro? And when he does that, the grass flattens about six yards back in all directions. Hmm, spicy. Well, uh, look, honey, it's it's an Amish church. Uh, Mennonite? Uh, <laughs> I need you all to roll a mind. It was basically spicy. a keep-it-together roll, because that was clearly supernatural. There's no rationalizing this. <clears throat> What's the goal? Uh, six. I'm spending eight point one. I rolled before you even said it. 
Dad got a oh, one. I also, I also two, rolled a one. Three. Three. Okay. There, he's got two dice. What'd you get, Lammy? That's a good face, uh... Mary. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in my dice right now. That's that's what this is. I'm rolling. I'm rolling an electronic dice. To see what happens. I rolled a four. Okay. Mm -hmm. wah, wah, wah. okay so <laughs> I rolled a two, and my yeah, I rolled a two. I forgot you don't add the modifier thing in my bobs. We all failed. Oh, what about mom? One. I, got a one. I, I rolled a one. They matched because they're in love. And also this random guy. Everybody gets to choose between losing a point of soul or gaining a point of weird. Your call. Okay, I'll take I'll a point of weird. weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll bring my weird up to five. I'll be weird. Weird it is. I'm up to four now. Yeah, that wasn't hard. I uh, wish. Is this person still like trying to like drag me somewhere, or like they, he just like, pulls you away from the grass until old man flattens oh, okay. the grass and then he just sets you down? Oh, okay, cool. Fast. I, uh, get in the church, oh. get away from Why? the grass. Don't go! Looks... Don't go! Don't go! Okay, don't go. bye. He looks Wait, no, fucking don't Isaiah. move, nerd. Do you, do you run in the church, Lambert? Lambert I'm runs gonna grab Mary, I'm gonna grab Mary him. does not let go of Lambert. I just want to be that very clear. Opposed body <laughs> rolls, highest wins. Lambert's gonna fruitlessly run to the church. Opposed body Thanks, rolls, body. highest wins. Leave your brother alone, damn it. I need him for things, Dad. Roll no. the two again. You do not get away, Lambert. Uh, Young man, leave your brother alone or you're grounded for life. Oh my God, I need him for life. All right, so everyone, let's let's calm down. Mm. Let's calm down. All right, we're safe. We're out of the grass. Let's get some water. And this nice gentleman is letting us go inside of his church. Thank you, sir. Oh. Betty, don't do it. Hold on. She like looks Isaiah dead in the face, and again she says, "Isaiah, why shouldn't we go in the church?" It's Wait, bad. you know this guy. It's bad, Mary. Don't go in there. Wait, how do you know my aunt? We used to be together. Ew. Uh, are you my uncle then? Yeah, are you our uncle? Okay, boys, inside Is the church. He? Let's go. Let's go. No, I, I need to bring Lambert to the rock. No. I don't want to see wrestling. No, not the rock. And first of all, you're just wrong because he's the best. <laughs> but second of all, just come here, you little Glorious. shit. Yeah. If, we bring, if we bring him to the rock, we can get out of here. But we can't. That church won't get us out of here. You saw what he just did. <laughs> He's kind of fucking weird. I don't like his beard. It's too long. You want the, the old man? The old man. Place. The old man speaks, and it's like he's talking in a normal tone, but it it drowns all of you out. Come out of the grass before it claims you. The only way you will be safe is under the protection of he who walks behind the rose. See, that sounds like the cult shit I saw on TV, like when I stayed up too late I while they were out. Be quiet. Get your get your brother, and we're going to go into the church, okay? The kid is right. It is a cult. No. Fine, right. I'll get my brother, and, and he's going to act like, Hank's going to act like he's pretending to listen to his dad and go to, like, scoop Hank. I mean, to go to scoop Lambert. You can't get Mary. past Mary. <laughs> Mary does not like No, Aunt Mary, I'm trying to listen to fucking dad. Just give me my goddamn brother. No, Hank. Get door. in that church, boy. No, in, in, I, can't, I can't let him. Give me the door. Hank no. is turning on dad mode. <laughs> and he gives him the death stare like, get in the church. Son. Hank, uh, Hank, 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 Hank. Hank. Yeah. I, I know we're all stressed out, but just because people dress a little differently, Maybe go to their own church. That doesn't mean they're a cult, okay? So let's just go inside the church. You know how long I've been here? Do not go in that yeah, church. Yeah, I'm agreeing to go into the weird Mary. fucking cult building, but you told me to go pick up the door, hey, and she won't let me. Hey, hey, we are not calling them a cult, all right? That That's an insulting phrase. We're going to be Listen polite. to your mother. Also, all religions start as a cult. Now let's get inside hey, the church, Mary. please. Be fine. I won't go in the building. Two seconds. Hey. Uh, Mary locks eyes with Henry and gives him that look of, I'm not letting go of Lambert. Aunt 
Mary. Aunt Mary. Yes, Go. Mary. We should run past the church. I don't <laughs> think that's run out an of option, the grass. Honey. Run past the church. Uh, Mary run. moves past Henry and Betty with Lambert to move towards Isaiah. Where, where Into the you, grass, Mary. Okay. I'm gonna try and Whoa. tackle this child. Wait, wait a second. She's moving with him. I'm trying to tackle. Could you Wait. please make your sister understand that that place back there That's is your not sister. Safe. That's your, your sister. sister. That's your sister, sir. <laughs> That's your twin sister, sir. Right, I'm sorry. It's been a very long week. I apologize. No, you're good. You're good. It's funny. Jackie, get back here. I'm not. Don't make me come after you. I trust. Mary, Mary, please look over for my son. No. I want to not go in the grass or in the church. <laughs> Please. Okay. Okay. You want to get out of here. You have to trust me. Uh, take Hank into the church. You'll be fine there. I'm going to have a talk with my sister. Okay? You're, Goes over there. You're creepy, she, mister. She, she just <laughs> let go. <laughs> you're... I, I want to try and tackle. If they're like walking, I'm going to try and tackle and grab Lambert. Hank uses tackle. It's super Hank effective. Hank uses tackle. <laughs> super effective. Body checks. Hold on one second. Do we give you that body yaddy yaddy? Oh, Where is. There it is. That wind is impressing me so much. We're having, we're having gale force winds. I live on the forty uh, second floor of a building, and shit is loud. Who's Gale, and why is she doing that? Wow. <laughs> so I apologize for the wind noises that people can hear. Them. Mom, how do you react? Let's see what Betty does. You got a toy? I do have a toy. No, I can't. You're in Cali. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Betty just like looks to Isaiah, just go pale white. <laughs> you don't know what's going on, Isaiah. <laughs> Spicy. Do I get to attempt to tackle for a child? This might change everything. Meanwhile, Lambert's looking at Hank. <laughs> Children. <gasps> he said, Aunt Mary, he said, fuck you. <laughs> Hank is going to lay you the fuck out when he gets a chance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> secret messages back and forth. I've got a secret. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> doll. <laughs> no, you're no, you're fucking twelve. You're a child. <laughs> Goodness, Henry. Better go check that out. Not that Henry. The other Henry. <laughs> talk. Oh, Henry. I mean, to be fair, I think Henry might have been a dog, but... Okay, Mary. In a previous life, 100%. <laughs> Where's the lie, though? Or not Mary. Wow. Hey, Mom. Honey. What do you do about Dad now that that has happened? Before the tackle uh, begins. 
So just like still like looking at Isaiah just with this totally unreadable expression on her face. Like, you know what? Maybe we should go back into the grass. What? No. <laughs> Be ridiculous. Come on. Listen to yourselves. He goes to uh, talk to Mary. If, uh, if he sees Hank come like to grab and tackle uh, Lambert, uh, Henry will turn on uh, oh, uh -oh. No, Eric Rose. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That's a good noise stasis. too. Well, we have we've got another Henry here right now. Yes. Yeah, we have secondary secondary Henry. What do you do? Come on, do you remember <laughs> your lines, Henry? Do you remember your lines, Henry? Understudy, Henry. let's go. Come on, understudy. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, he's got he's so big. Yeah. So big. It's a he's, really great yeah. freeze frame too for this, Eric. It really is. <laughs> it's it's like a great one. Double the size of what it was when you got him. Oh god, I want to just steal him. Look at that bubs. Look at that adorable bubs. But yeah, I don't I either a cat got he just broke my necklace. Uh, <laughs> Spicy baby. Uh well, he got caught in it and then he jumped. So there it goes. Sorry, uh, the switched grass got me. <laughs> Henry, you can't yell at the cats. Uh, the yeah, so face. Betty is going to walk up to Henry. Uh, and I'll say, uh, sweetie, what, this, what? Is, this is Mary's ex. He's Lambert's uncle. Of course he is. <laughs> I knew that. Uh, I'm just going to have a talk with them. You, you all go back inside. Hank, take your mother to the church. You'll be safe there, okay? I'm fucking fine. And Just listen to me. No, I need the fucking nerd. Uh, the moment he hey, sees... Hank, language. The <laughs> moment Henry sees Hank go and like try to try body tackle. tackle. Yeah, that's when Henry activates uh, used to play ball because uh, somebody had to teach Hank all those moves in the first place. So he's going to start dropping some body points to, you know, grab him by the shoulders and remove him from the situation. <laughs> Proposed body rolls. All right. You can both DM me in private if you're spending in advance. Yep. Lambert looks up and down at Isaiah. Are you a murderer? Did you murder people? Look kind of scary. I, I don't think so. You don't think so? I'm going to take a point of weird. Also. Okay. Uh, That's a 12. Spicy wind. Spicy wind That's with like, my 12. Add 3D, no, add 3D to your total, is, Eric. That's what Devin oh, does. What the fuck? 13. Lucky oh, number 13. Man. It's in the roll 20 uh, chat. Damn. So, <laughs> it's so evenly matched, but you, you win go because you're the father. You Well, that's not what happened. You go to tackle your brother, and your dad comes in and body checks you, and you almost get free, <laughs> but then mom clotheslines you. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> like right across <laughs> the neck to help dad knock you down. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm helping <laughs> Hank. Oh, you're helping Hank. She's helping me. Oh, no. We, we both want Lambert in the grass. Right, but that's where Mary's taking Lambert. That's why I said it the other way. Oh, Mary is okay. pulling Lambert into the grass, where and then it looks like Hank's trying to stop it to you. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I misunderstood, <laughs> so I would have done something different. What would you have done? Uh, no, I would have helped Mary. Okay. I mean, that's still what you did is still helping me yeah. because he was going to, he's trying to take Lambert away from me. Okay. Does <laughs> everyone want to sacrifice the child to the rock? <laughs> I'm not sacrificing the child to the rock. I'm just not also sacrificing the child. Listen, to the there's, apparent, there's <laughs> apparently <laughs> fucking two of you and I can't handle that. <laughs> <laughs> Too much Lambert. Too much Lambert. So what happens is you all end up in the grass except Hank and dad. What the fuck, dad? And the guy hits the staff on the ground again. Another thunderous 
resignation. He says they've made their choice. Those in the grass are to be sacrificed to he who walks behind the rows. And no! People, and people start pouring out of the church with machetes. No! They just stop! go around you, Dad and Hank. Oh, fuck. And that's where we pause for a mid show break. No, no break. Shit. Play more. <laughs> you should have listened to me. This wouldn't be happening if you didn't. God damn it. And he goes to, like, pull as many people as possible from the from, from the sawgrass. Like, he tries. He'll probably die, but he'll. he'll I mean, he's going to go ape shit on these people if, if they, like, try to hurt his family. And that's where the commercial break hits the TV, made-for-TV movie. Don't go anywhere, audience. We'll be back in about ten minutes.
We've returned. Machete wielding cultists? Question mark. They're pouring out of the church. Maybe a dozen of them. In total, Mom says we have to call them religiously different people. <laughs> uh, uh, those of you in the grass did, in fact, hear that you were to be sacrificed to he who walks behind the rose. And then they just ignore the two of you that are not in the tall grass. I don't see any roses. I see a hand. What is the question? Um. So as I know what Mary is feeling. So as soon as we hear that from the old man, um, she is willing the grass to lead them back to the rock. And see okay. if that does anything. Um, Excellent. What actions does mom intend to take? Uh, she is going with Lambert to the rock. And what about Lambert? Lambert is terrified out of yes. his mind and wants Here. to try and run back to the car. Hank. Even though he has no idea where it is. Yes. What are you going to do at hearing that? Uh, so, like, do I have the impression that they're, if I try and go into the grass, they will be me killable? Or, like... You feel like, as the teenager you, yeah. you could maybe fake it and be like, yeah, get them all! And then you can okay. get in the grass that way. Yeah, no, yeah, I think, yeah, I think Hank, uh, Hank, Hank turns to, like, one of the guys, like, hey, give me a machete, I'll get him with you, the kid's a little shit. Isaiah, what are you gonna do? You have put together by now that all these people think that's your son. Yep, um, yep. well, I want, I want out of this place, so I am going to grab, uh, both Mom and Mary and drag them quickly. And what about Hank Sr.? Uh, seeing as, like, there's too many cultists to punch, <laughs> uh, he'll, he'll try to bargain with the, uh, Gandalf and be like, hey, look, uh, please, please don't hurt my family. Please, please don't do this. Whatever you want, uh, just don't hurt them. That could be pivotal, so we're going to deal with that first. And then we'll deal okay. with Mary, because that could also be pivotal. For... Does hey. Lambert, does Lambert go to mom or Aunt Mary? Aunt Mary has not released her grip on Lambert. <laughs> he tried. A little bit. But. Hey, this is an influence roll, so roll your mind as a dice pool. Your original Henry, total so we don't mind. Get confused. Henry, that's Henry. I'm going to call you Pops. Pops! Pops. <laughs> My mind as a dice pool. Can it's I original your... value. So in other words, what oh. was your original mind value when you started? It was four. Yeah. Roll 4d6. Okay. Can I add to it? Uh, no, you cannot spend weird on influence rolls. Damn it. Okay. That would be a spicy roll if I rolled it. I have eight mind. Eight. Twelve. Twelve. Tell us what exactly you say to Mr. Lead Cultist. Sir, listen, sir. You don't, please don't hurt my family, okay? Huh. I will do whatever you want, all right? I've come to bargain. Anything you want. I just, please spare my wife and, and, and our children, okay? Mary, roll soul as a dice pool. Your total original oh. soul value, whatever it was. Are you sure I can't roll mind? Uh, you could take a point of weird and convince me why it should be mind, and then yes, you can. That is one of the functions of spending weird. Uh, well, hello, Dork Tales. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the party. party. It's about oh, to get no. weird. Hey. Uh, it's it's, gonna, it's about to get weird. <laughs> it's about to get weird. With a Y. Um, <laughs> I'm calling him a dork this entire time. It's true. You summoned them. Well done. <laughs> um, I would like to attempt to spend that point and convince you that I should be able to use mind. Okay. Um, Let's do it. 
well, one, mind over matter. Uh, <laughs> uh, who? Um, I don't know. I I got never mind. I'll just roll my fucking. No. Roll. Nope. 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 So. For the audience and the players, some of whom don't know this yet, uh, my collection of short stories is building up to a longer tale because we are going to showcase the Summer of Weird, a new supplement that uh, the Solemn Vale producers have created to basically do uh, Stranger Things, but Solemn Vale style. And we're leading up to that by all these interconnected stories becoming that way. So actually what happens is when you spend that point of weird and connect with the land around the American Solemn Vale, as we're calling it. It responds, and almost like, because this is a Stephen King theme in this first tale, almost like you're the fire starter. Blood comes out of your nose and a little bit out of your left ear as you psionically control the grass and create a path for you and close it behind you. However, what none of you see, what the viewers see, is everything flips upside down like it's underneath, except it's a darker, blacker, deader uh, copy of this reality. And everything is covered in pulsing red and gray tendrils. And in the area where Mary does that, they coalesce and bulge like a slug feeding on blood. And something starts to pull itself out. As it notices our reality. It starts to push through. Oh. Don't go to the church, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so go ahead and roll it. And okay. roll your mind as a dice pool. Twenty six. Okay. As you take control of the grass, and for the remainder of the scene, you can describe what you want the grass to do. And remember, sawgrass is sharp and very heavy. Uh, you all have, uh, we said this offline, but the audience didn't hear it. You all have some level of paper cuts all over you by now. And they probably hurt a lot. Very stingy. Full of sap. Uh, the lead cultist puts his hand up, doesn't say a word, and everyone stops. And he turns to you pops and he says anything anything excellent pulls his cane out to you take this follow your family do as Moses would have done Moses well, part of the Red Sea so okay <laughs> Moses did do did more than part the Red Sea with his staff You're not talking about Abraham, right? Okay, cool. I'm going to go to the grass. <laughs> I'm trying to get my family back. Oh, it was Moses. Oh, fuck. Trust me, I was be... there. Um, For those of us who aren't religious... It is Abraham in the Bible. Abraham struck the rock and it bled water, but this guy's a crazy cultist, so he's saying Moses. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to chalk that up to uh, Henry having forgetfulness. He's like, he doesn't remember the Bible study uh, <laughs> lessons. And he's just like, whatever, man. Yeah, he takes the staff. He runs down as fast as he possibly can to the edge of the, the sawgrass. And he's like, thou shalt not pass. <laughs> he tries to like part the... the no, no, no. He doesn't grass. want you to part the grass. He wants you to strike the rock with the staff. The big boulder in the middle of the sawgrass. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll make his way through the sawgrass, bleeding and tired. Uh, you take one point of weird. Trying to a... Sure. Trying to get my family back. What's your weird up to now, Pops? Six. Excellent. So we're referring to the Bible story where he hits the rock, and it's because he was supposed to... He wasn't supposed to hit the rock, but he decided to hit the rock to get water out of it, and that's why he was never able to see the promised land. That's what they want you to do, hit the rock with the staff. The staff being the walking stick. Sure. What could go yeah. wrong? Yeah. <laughs> so, Mary, what does the grass do? Can I control it? 
control all of the grass? With a 26, yes, you could make the grass in their backyard grow. I make the grass in the church grow. Okay. Take one weird. Okay. The grass that's in their backyard that's carefully cultivated immediately starts growing into sawgrass, which begins whipping around. There's a lot of screaming behind you. <clears throat> do you all continue to run for the rock, or do you stop and look? I, like Lot's wife. I head for the rock. The rock. I don't look back. I know what I did. <laughs> what about Pops, Hank, and Lambert? I'm looking back at the screaming, like... Uh, as I'm running, like, what the fuck are they screaming about? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Keeps running. Lambert the is looking for the car. I don't think Hank looks. I think Hank wants to find the nerd. Minus one mind, Dad. Minus one mind? Oh, shit. Watching grass grow immediately and slice people to ribbons, your sanity is failing. What's that put your mind at? Two. Oh, not scratched out yet. Okay. The grass parts before you as Mary commands. Mary, does it part for everyone? You could prevent some of them from making it. She... I don't know how specific I can be about it, but she doesn't let anyone through that me that means Lambert harm. So here I wanna so I, I wanna <laughs> actually I'll, I'll pose this to you, Tyler. Cause 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 Hank doesn't think he's gonna harm him, or at least he doesn't intend to harm. I will put that at least. Because if he thought it would harm Lambert, he wouldn't do it because he actually like cares about the dumb dork or whatever. Um he thinks he's like helping him and himself because like he thinks he's gonna fix whatever fits that lambert's been having so i will leave that to you and put that out there to australis plays someone already did before we started the session i've been yes. saving it <clears throat> Fifteen thousand yes, points worth of horror has been summoned yes <laughs> so uh i will accept that logic because you said that before this event too do any of you intend to harm to the child Nope. Then the grass does not slice any of you. However, I mean, kill any of you. However, it does leave a real nasty cut on Hank. Hank, lose one body. Hmm. You notice that, Mary. It didn't kill him, but it hurt him. Hmm. So you know what to keep okay. an eye on now. Okay. The rock appears before you. Who's got the highest body still? Uh, did I keep the points that I spent, or... Nope, points earlier, that are spent or? are gone. Oh, five. The, the earlier ones, yes. So anything I anything you spent for extra dice is gone for Eric. I think Isaiah or Hank has the highest. You both have five? Yes. And then Dad has five, too? Five or many. All three of you make body rolls at your full dice pool. Oh, fuck. This is an influence roll. Oh boy. 24. Okay. 19. Okay. You're muted, I think. 25. Okay, so. Can I take a point of weird, please? Uh, you don't need to for this. We're essentially doing my version of initiative. Alright. Of the other three of you, what are your bodies? Three, four. three, four. <clears throat> the two of you that are threes, roll off. Okay. Oh boy. You can do it, Lammy. Sixes don't mean anything for this, nothing, right? No, nothing bad. Okay. Uh, then 13. I just rolled two sixes oh, and as one. A Wait, is it a dice pool? Yeah. Yeah. It's an influence oh. roll. You okay, so. Four. Seven total. Seven, okay. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven total. Okay. 
As you all reach to the rock itself, Hank, you get to act first. Or at least declare your action first. Uh, my action is to grab the dork and put the dork on the rock. And Isaiah. Now remember, uh, well, actually, no. We're going to do this differently. Slowest people tell me first, because faster people can react to that. So, Lambie, what are you going to do when it's your turn when they all try to throw you at the rock? Except for Mary. Uh, Mary scream. and your dad, I assume, are not going to put you on the rock. Scream You're... and try to run to the car, even if... <laughs> Okay. Even if he can't, like, if Mary has too strong of a grip. I need you to roll soul. Yeah. I need you to roll soul difficulty eight. It means you cannot uh, succeed without spending points or using weird. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the interference is coming from the spicy wind and lupine vendetta. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, that is the spicy wind. The spicy wind. Uh... So do you want to spend with point of soul in advance, or do you want to see your result and then spend weird? Um, how much weird is there? This is a new scene. It's back to seven. Okay, because I rolled a one. What's your current weird total? Four. So you can't take enough weird to win. You would immediately lose. Shit. So you fail. Uh... Other you takes over and wants to touch the rock. <laughs> Roleplay accordingly when it's your turn. Mary, you see it happen. Hey. What, what are you going to do when it's your turn? Um, so, question. So, now that Mary has influence over the grass, does she think she could just make the grass part to the car? Maybe. Maybe. You don't think it's impossible. You'll have to roll for it, in other words. But yes, you okay. can attempt it. Because the rock was just a landmark to her. Um, she doesn't know what the other people were fucking going on about. Um, so... Because I don't think before this, Mary ever experienced any of these episodes, per se, or much of them with Lambert, so she thinks this place is, you know, causing Lammy some issues. So, um, she's going to keep moving past the rock with Lammy. Okay. Um, and hopefully trying to keep his other in check. Okay. Mom, when it's your turn, what are you going to do? You can tell Mary's heading for the car, not the rock, but the rock is pulling you all in. Oh, well, there's there's something I got to do uh, before I handle Lambert. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to grab Isaiah by the back of the throat and slam him repeatedly into the rock. Okay. Dad, what are you going to do? You see all of these things happening. That You're not taking your action yet, you're just declaring it, and then we'll start with the first person and go down the line. Oh shit! Sorry, um, Aaron. Wow. It's just it's revenge. It's revenge from Mythos World. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you did you did kill her in Mythos World. I, I very meant much meant what I said at the break. We're all about to do very terrible things because we love Lambert. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I I saw all those people dying behind me, so I, I I'm I'm imagining Henry's a little bit. Uh, reluctant to do what he promised he would do to them but he fears that like if the, just the old guy can do stuff with magic stick he should probably fulfill his promise so he's gonna run up and hit the rock with the stick Isaiah and try to beat them to it you know you're about to get your face smashed into the rock okay um I'm, I'm going to uh, attempt to use my slim build to like snake my way out of the way and try and like end end with the lovely mom's face in the rock instead. And Hank, you can take you can attempt that to take your nerd. action now. Except I think the the, the wind claimed your video. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, you hear me? I can. We hear can you hear now. you though. We can hear you, yeah. Yeah. but okay. the video that works. Now the video is frozen on my beautiful face. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, I don't know what face I'm making, uh, but yeah, so yeah, he's gonna grab the fucking nerd and put him on the rock. Alright, give me a body roll. Cool. 
and record your I'm gonna result. Spend, I'm going to spend, spend two points of body. Okay. And record your roll, but don't tell me yet. Okay. Spicy. Okay. Isaiah. Soul. Soul? Wait, no. I'm confusing, Actually, I'm I, confusing I, names. You need to roll body, too. Okay. And then the same thing as Hank. Don't tell me the result, but record it. And if you want to spend points, you should. Oh, should I tell you now if I want to spend points considering there's a limited pool? Not the weird, no. We can resolve okay. that later. I only need to okay. know if you're spending attribute points. Are you spending attribute oh, points, Isaiah? Oh, it's not a pool? Okay, I didn't know that was a pool. All right. Um... No, you declare ahead of time if you're spending body points. You declare after if you're pulling from the pool. Okay. Um... I'm gonna spend. I'm only gonna spend one. Okay, and record your result, but don't tell anyone yet. Dad, you're the gotta roll soul, but this is an influence roll, so roll the whole thing, and then actually tell me the result. Soul, well, all three dice of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. All three of those spicy dice. Fourteen. Nice. Mom. Body roll, tell me if you're spending points ahead of time, but don't tell me the result after you roll. Uh, I'm spending... Can I spend more than one point? Yes. You can spend up to I'm scratching it out if you want. Oh. Uh, I will spend two points of body. Okay. Mary, roll soul and tell me the result. This is a full influence roll, so the full dice pool. Do you care about sixes on influence rolls? No. Not for okay. this one. Okay. And you can tell me your result. Oh, 20. Nice. And Lambie, body roll, and you can tell us your result, too. Declare ahead of time if you're spending body points. Uh, is, as a bull or singular dice? Singular. Oh, boy. Ahead of time? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Four. Got a four. Okay. Everyone roll weird. And because that means you roll your total weird value as a dice pool. If you have no weird value, roll one d six. Wait. So, like, you wanted to roll low. Oh. What's your current <laughs> weird, Ambrose? Four. Roll four d six. Okay. Yes, rolling high is finger quotes bad. Oh, uh, goody. Fuck. I rolled high. Aim. My dice are trying to kill me. Also, I need to know any sixes rolled in this roll. Oh, fuck my life. I got one. <laughs> you should have said that before. <laughs> I picked them up. I can't remember what I rolled. No, I did not roll a six. Okay. I rolled the ten and got a six. Add one weird automatically to uh, Isaiah. Anybody right. else roll sixes? Oh, I got yeah. sixes. How, how many, Dad? How many sixes, Dad? Oh, add, okay. add a point of weird. How many sixes, Mom? Two. Two points of weird. And Lambie, two points of weird for you. And oh, weird one for Hank. for Hank. Am I the only one who can roll a six? Yes. Yeah. Holy crap. Now, what are your, uh, and, what are, and my... what are your oh, current sorry. weirds, starting with Dad? Seven. Auntie. Fourteen. No, no, your, no, your, your no, current you're... weird pool. Oh, five. Uh, Mom. Seven. Lamby. Six. Hank. Five. And Isaiah. Four. Oh, man. The guy that's been there the longest is the least effective. That's great. He's <laughs> <laughs> not having the family turmoil we are. Okay. what you get on the weird roll, Dad? Twenty-four. Oh, what you get, Auntie? <laughs> Fourteen. What'd you get, Mom? 20. What'd you get, Lammy? Not available. Mm-hmm. What'd you get, Lammy? <laughs> 21. Mm-hmm. What'd you get, Hank? 16. And what'd you get, Isaiah? 10. Damn. Okay. So, in order, highest weird to lowest... As you all take these actions, and many of you simultaneously touch the rock, 
whatever your dark secret is, is displayed to everyone else as if it was a home movie being played. Ooh. Starting with Dad. Um, Describe it how you one? want it to be. <laughs> the one that you consider to be your character's darkest. And yours, not someone else's. Like, it can include them, but it can't be something you think that's bad about them. It has to be your own dirty laundry being aired out. And then after he describes it, if that changes the action any of you are taking, you can tell me. Uh, I'm going to go for the one that's not the most obvious to everybody already. Okay. <laughs> now describe it as if it was a scene playing out. Oh, okay. Uh, he goes in for the usual sort of yearly checkup thing, and the, you know, the doctor comes back to him and says, like... How long have you had that there? Yeah, I think, he's, I think it's always been there. You know, he's like, oh, let's we can get that checked out. Fast forward a couple weeks, and he gets the he gets the doctor call, and he's like, are you sure? <laughs> what does this mean? Thirteen months? <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's time to go see Grandpa. <laughs> Mom, you were second highest. Uh. And it can't be yeah. the one about Lambie because that's already in the open. So, the other one. <laughs> well, now it is. <laughs> um. I don't think she has a dark secret other than Lambert. Uh, I think, like, her dark secret right now is that uh, she is murdering Isaiah. So that Lambert will be her son in every way. Pretty sure there was one. I'm checking. <laughs> you gotta uh, sift through like the multitude of secret messages. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Oh no, I yeah, remember. Okay, I was about to screenshot it for you. Uh, so yeah, uh, no, uh, I, I uh... explain that okay, whatever I, level of I, detail you would like. Hold on. Should I purge that you're killing Isaiah from my mind right now? <laughs> no, you yeah, can have that. Like, okay, because that, that does affect what Mary will do. Well, plus, um, plus the dark secret involves Mary. This would be no shock to Mary. Carry on, Mom! Uh, yes. So the movie that plays out uh, is um, Betty at her bachelor party. Uh, her bachelorette party. Um, Heavily pregnant. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. yeah. Well, so, like, maybe, but that's yeah, not what it is. Yeah. So like, she's she's not drinking, but she's definitely having uh, doubts because you know she's a teenager. And she's getting married because she was pregnant. This was not sort of how she saw her life going. Uh, and as a last hurrah, uh, she ends up in bed with Mary. I knew it. Whoa. Spicy. This 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 is what the, this is what the Rock showed you. Eric, that you it could reverse for you. <laughs> My mom's a lesbian. <laughs> Even Savannah forgot about that. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My mom's a lesbian. What? So, what was the next highest? I believe it was Mary. Lambert. Lambert. Oh, well, Lambert. Lambert. Yep. Lambert. I had twenty-one. Lambert, go. Uh. So... You can you can describe to them how it happened. Because we know what it is. Oh, okay. Lammy's possessed. Uh, <laughs> he opened a cursed item, and it summoned an imaginary friend that's been stalking the family this whole time. And it's slowly taking over him completely. But, explain the other part. Because they would see the history of this entity. Why you? Uh... Thanks it's not good enough. What? Uh... Family curse, it's remember? A, it's a, oh, the, uh, generational. Generational family curse. Uh, something ancient from the 1600s. Uh, so is this from, from the, the Bjornsson line or from the McIntyre yeah. line? Yeah, Dad's yeah, side. Oh fuck. <laughs> it's from Dad's side. It came over with you from the old country. Yeah, so you get the bad genes and you get the bad curse too from the dad's side. The bam. 
but describe to them how it ended up inside you. What was the process? Oh, uh, I had already said that uh, he he opened a cursed item. Yes, uh, but it wasn't that simple. What you would see is it breaking the kid down. Item, it starts out as an imaginary friend, and then it wears on him, and it starts scaring him, and it starts terrorizing him at night with nightmares, and then it pretends to be his friend to save him from the horrible night terrors until it beats the poor kid's psyche down, and the kid finally says, yes, just please stop. I mean, that's extra stuff that Tyler just made up, so I have no idea. <laughs> no, no, it's in there. I love it. That you, you had to, over a period of time, it's in there. Who's next? What were you, Savannah? 14. Okay, so I'm next. Uh, so uh, the camera tilts and it tilts and it's fuzzy and it's bleary. And and it, these rain droplets come across and it's the middle of like a nowhere road, like on the side of a mountain. And uh, you see uh, Hank's car, uh, his car is parked and there's a woman, uh, a young woman, just on the ground, dead. There's several guys in fraternity outfits, and Hank blinks, and he blinks, and he can't remember what happened or what's going on. He, he sways, he feels nauseous, he's drunk out of his mind. Um, and one of his friends is like, let's just get, this, this doesn't happen. We, we, we. And he's like, I have a scholarship. This, this can't happen. And uh, the four guys roll this young woman's body off the cliff. The edge of the cliff on that road, they push her off. Hank is a uh, murderer? No, he's not. He doesn't remember if he was driving or not, but it was his car and he thinks he might be. He's not sure. He was really wasted. He blacked out. That is exactly um, what it is. And, uh, he, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know what you did last summer. Uh, yep. And he, uh, yeah, they, they get, he, he gets back in the back of the car and you just, you feel so, this nausea just gnawing at your stomach constantly. 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 Confusion and nausea. Perfect. And that means Mary's next, and then last but not least, Isaiah. But we know Isaiah's. Uh. I don't know any other dark secret besides the one that's already out. Explain. Uh. They're both out for you, aren't they? Which one do you consider more important? The details. Uh, Lambert. Okay. Give everyone a taste of the moment you agreed to let them raise the kid. Okay. Oh, <laughs> um, so, uh, it's been years uh, since a Mary had talked to her uh, brother and sister-in-law. Um, and all of a sudden, they get like a phone call saying, hey, um, I'm flying in this weekend from New York. Um, and um, when she arrives at their door, uh, it's with a baby in tow. Uh, and she pleads to Henry and Betty to please take him in because she she can't take care of him like it would it would ruin her plans so she asked her brother to uh do the brotherly thing totally um and uh take in Lambert as their own and she did it while Hank wasn't there uh so that way like, you leave a ball yeah, he was at like Pee Wee football or something. <laughs> also, how does I got? I want to ask a question out of character. How does Mary feel about the fact that they named the baby Lambert, which is Betty's surname? Oh shit! I hadn't even thought about that. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Well, they're secretly in true love, so. <laughs> I think they just banged once. I don't think it was true bad. love. <laughs> <laughs> Mary was, it was drunk true lust. and Betty was having second thoughts. Like, <laughs> yeah. that, that, um, she, God, that is a good question. Cause I also hadn't thought about it <laughs> until you brought it up. Um, it probably hurt, 
but like it also like it was an extra spicy layer of secrecy because like why like you would name your own child your you know your maiden name not somebody else's so wait so what was my name supposed to be I'd have like been Bjornsson Bjornsson. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you'd have been Bjornsson Macintosh. <clears throat> oh, Lord. <laughs> also, I reread the notes, and you were right, Ambrose. My message was unclear. But yes, it was supposed to indicate it took time. Last but not least, ah. Isaiah. Uh, well, since I think the obvious dark secret has already been revealed. I have one for this character who was going to be an NPC, if you're okay I, with I me. imagine mine's probably, since I've been in the fields, I imagine that I've probably brought someone to the rock and made an offering of blood. And, uh, well, and maybe raided them for food also. Yep. The first time the rock spoke to you, it didn't offer you freedom, it offered you survival. And all you had to do was bring that other kid's mother to it. And you did. And you beat her to death on the rock. That's why that poor little kid's lost in the grass. So everyone sees that, too. Son of a bitch. Does wow. ever, anyone's actions change as a result of these visions? Because you all share them in detail. I might yes. just club Isaiah with my wife. Knowing <laughs> 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 that now. Like, son of right, uh, are you going to beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't think Mary does this consciously. Okay. But um, she wills the grass to protect Isaiah. Okay. And are you actually going to change your action, Dad? Oh, man. Um, do I know that I would actually release us from the switch grass? Like, is that the. Like, do I. Knowing what I know, would that. Would striking the rock actually do that? Like, get us back to... Get us out of here, or... It's the only hope you have. Shit. But you don't know. I mean, how confident you are is up to you as the character. But in your... In Dad's mind, it would be the only... I mean, I would imagine they're taking the boy to the rock to beat the holy hell out of him? <laughs> or the other thing out of him? Or I don't know. The only thing you've ever uh, seen is a vision of when someone's brought to the rock, they get beat to death. That's a logical yeah, that's conclusion. Not happen. So yeah. So maybe if you hit the rock, that would prevent it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. What about Makes mom? Sense. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm good. Hey. Okay. What about mom? Are changing any action? Oh hell no, Lambert's gonna be my son after all this. What about Isaiah? Any change in action? Uh, yeah, I'd like to reach out to the rock to find out which Lambert it wants. Hank, any change in action? No, he thinks he, he doesn't. You know, he doesn't think he's gonna bludgeon the whole thing. He thinks he just has to touch his brother this rock, and it's gonna save him. Lambert, make another soul roll. Difficulty eight. Spend an advance if you want. Uh, okay. So is this? This is, this is you trying pool. to take over of your body no. again because uh, all of those things shocked the the, the boy inside of you and that shock might dislodge the possessing spirit long enough for you to regain control. Crossing fingers. So you're going to spend any points in advance because you cannot succeed unless you spend points in advance or spend weird after. You can't roll an 8 on a d6. Ah. I will spend three nice. points of soul. Spicy. Great. Which brings it down to three. Okay, roll 4d6. This tells you what Ambrose thinks about uh, his potential dice rolls. Yeah, I'm just like, 4d6 yeah, is a say. lot to get just To try eight. eight. Yeah, to Almost get eight. Almost a guarantee. Almost. Ambrose really likes ones, though, so... Ten. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. You Lambert do. just knows his roles. <laughs> Lambert is now in control. What would Lambert like to do? All dice hate me. Um, <laughs> uh, Lambert is going to just stand there wide-eyed and look over to his hand. The Aunt Mary, did you let go or are you still holding? Good hand. And now you know this is your mom. Biological mom. Yeah, he, one of us 
woke up at 3 a.m. to feed you and change Yeah, biological your mom. Biological mom. He, he, he looks at mom's hand and looks up and looks at other mom and looks at other mom. But you also saw her. Another mom. Looks at another mom. Both moms getting it on with each other. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that camera scene was like tasteful or like From Lambert's I don't point know, of view. Drunk and regretting my bachelorette party doesn't really scream tasteful to me. <laughs> I mean well, okay, like I feel like there was like maybe like some kissing in front of a hotel door yes. and then like cut to next morning. They're like all tangled up They're in the They're just laying together. in the same bed. Yes, that's how yeah. I would have pictured it in this movie. <laughs> He we just, don't have that kind that, of writing. That's like all he does is look back and forth between the two of them. That's 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 it. He's not very nice. Um, he's he doesn't know what to do. Okay. Hank, you're first. Yeah, come here, squirt. Make a body. Well, oh, I thought he was frozen again. He was very still. Oh, oh. it's. It, I would like to point out that he doesn't look angry or sad just in shock yeah body roll hank i'm cool. not telling you the dc buying, but uh i'm I might buying notice. some i'm bought i'm buying two okay those are some spicy rolls did you get any sixes spicy high or spicy low <laughs> spicy i did get a singular six add one to your weird okay uh spicy tuna now I want sushi. Thirteen. Okay. Isaiah. Can I? Could I spend or? You don't need. The, or so should I spend? I don't know if I should. If, if, okay. if it ends up being a losing roll, I'll give you the opportunity to buy weird. But okay. we don't know yet. Isaiah, mm -hmm. you're next. Yes, I'd like to. I'd like to talk to the rock and see if it will tell me which Lambert it wants. You touch the rock, and the rock says, "We want." What is inside of the boy, not the boy himself. All right. My guts? You don't hear that. <laughs> Isaiah's going to look Mary dead in the eye. Let him touch the rock. It doesn't want him. It wants the bad thing. Dad. Roll soul. Oh, the whole thing, huh? Well, no. Uh, how, many, how much you got left? Three soul. Hint. Spend it all. Scratch it out. If so you want to win, dice? if you want, if you don't, if you don't want a winning scenario, don't do that. <laughs> what it constitutes it's winning is, uh, yeah, objective. Wait, From okay. Dad's point of view. <laughs> uh, so I spend three points, and that means that would I give roll you forty-six. Six dice. Yes, four. Forty-six to roll. You get one okay. automatically. Spending three points gives you three more. Okay, so I'm rolling forty-six, and mm -hmm. I can spend weird points or no? Only if you need to, but which we don't know yet. So roll the 4d6, tell me the total, and then later on, if it's a losing roll, you can buy weird. 16. Okay. With a 6. Oh, had another point of weird to yourself. Yay. Mom. Has Henry hit 10 yet? I'm at 8. Oh. Mom. Your turn. Mm-hmm. You're still trying to smash it. Oh, wait, no, you said you changed your action, didn't you? No. No, no she did it. Body roll. Spend in advance if you want to uh, kill Isaiah. Does does this count for the earlier roll that I made? Send me that in the side. For the, okay. the, the result you got. Yeah. <laughs> winning. Yeah, Luke, I don't think there's any winning in this. <laughs> Do it again, but add that to the total. Okay. With, uh, whether or not you spend any body. All right, I will spend another point of body. Okay. That brings me down to one. And then give me the grand total. What about those rolls we did make before? Because we made rolls uh, before. And they're going to kick in in a second. I'm just getting hers okay. in advance. 14. Okay. Mary. It's here. What do you got left for soul? Four. Hmm. I'd spend. I've somewhere... only spent. I've only spent in mine, and I only spent one point. 
I'd Otherwise, I'm just wow. going to roll it really well. I'd spend summer all of it now, because you're rolling soul. Okay. I'm spending three. Okay. I want high numbers, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I'm taking three points of weird because I've rolled three sixes. Okay. Um, my total is... Hail Satan. <laughs> All right. Uh, 19. And what's your weird at? Seven. This is Christmas, Aaron. It's Hail Santa. Hank. Sa same guy. Pretty sure. Give me your new total if you add that other secret roll in. Okay. 30. Same for Isaiah. Uh, what am I rolling? Uh, give me or your total the... plus the other secret physical roll I had you make earlier. Oh, um, including the, the thing I rolled with mm -hmm. all the dices. So that's 35. Okay. Dad, same thing. What's that change your total? <laughs> Eric's doing math. Oh, you're sorry, muted. Oh, sorry. Sorry. oh, sorry. What, what math do I need to make now? Uh, give me your soul roll plus that secret physical roll I had you make earlier. Or, wait, no, you didn't do a secret physical roll, did you? No. What was your total soul six, roll again? 16. 16 with one six. Yeah. I'll check it out. I, and I earned a point of weird for it. Mm -hmm. Lambie. The path opens to the car. He will try and, and yank his hands out of whatever and whoever and just take off running for the car. Okay. Gotta make a body roll, yeah? So. Simultaneously, Pink grabs uh, Lambert and shoves him at the rock. And now I need you to make that body roll. He gently taps him against the rock, like <laughs> slapping the back of the head, like lightly tap. Or... <laughs> I am. I'm gonna spend two points of body. Okay. Hint: so You have to beat a thirty. Oh fuck! <laughs> I don't. I don't think. There's... I don't think you can. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think you can. What, what you we could use, do? Like, now dice. remember what you can do is take a point of weird and convince me why you can use a different dice pool that you have more dice in and burn the whole thing. So, like, what's your mind at? Six. You could try. You could spend a point of weird and tell me why you can make a mind roll. Maybe you're outwitting him instead of outstrengthening him and roll seven die six and scratch out your mind. Uh, yeah, I'm Teen Loki versus Teen Thor. Teen like, Thor. come on. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your quick what's your quick witted reaction to being tossed towards the rock when you see an escape route appear? Not physical. Clever. You could like because he's probably got a football stance, like dive under his legs. Well, if he's already throwing me. Quit shoving. Mm, just matrix duck. Nope, that's physical. <laughs> oh, that's shit. physical. Um, you have to outwit him. And it could take place before he shoves you. You could say something to throw him off his game, maybe. It's really easy to distract. Yeah. He is uh, also yeah, easy to distract. Social yeah. roles are considered Squirrel. mental in this game. You could Squirrel. use you could use the leverage you just got. Mm -hmm. The dead girl! Okay, roll it. Now, do you want to roll 66 and save a point of mind, or do you want to burn it all and get 76 and scratch it out? Mm, 66. Okay. Ambrose, you have to roll perfect to get above 30. 66? Is yeah. 36. An average of five. Yeah. Is 36 if you roll all sixes? Yes. 
Okay, I'll scratch it. All right, <laughs> roll seventy-six. Like I'm just gonna point out that you have to roll really high on all of your rolls. Oh boy, okay. You still you have to roll really on high on seventy-six. After that roll, fair. Or no. Uh, Mel, Mel is oh, kind of no. asking what. Oh yeah, Ambrose. Do. Ambrose did oh, get boosted. Oh shit! I do have a boost. I forgot about that. So player boosts are worth plus one, player votes are worth, or I'm sorry, audience boosts are worth plus one, audience votes are worth a d6. So if you have a vote from the audience, that's a d6. If you have a boost from the audience, it's a plus one. I do have an audience vote and I have a crew vote. So and... roll another d6, the crew votes do something else. Booyah. Crew votes let you burn off weird and other cool things. Is it a one? That your face tells Can me I... it's a one. Okay. A two. Can I give Ambrose <laughs> my vote? <laughs> no, it's different. So, Wait, what is your total? If you take a point of weird, Dad, you can you total. can let the weird influence Ambrose. Yes, you can. I'll do that. Yep. I'm so at put you at nine. Glorious. Roll another D six, Ambrose. Did you get a 26, one? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31, there it is. Hey, I still get to spend weird, though. I get to spend weird if I want. Uh, There are four <laughs> points left in the... No, three points left in the scene because it's getting burned. Cool, I'll I spend spend... two points of weird. No! <laughs> I'll spend the last Whoa. one of weird. Yeah, Both of you roll a like... d6. <laughs> Both of you roll what? a d6. The sibling rivalry is real. Six! Oh, my... Five, six, oh. six. <laughs> so, what's your weird at currently, Hank? <laughs> so, this is what happens. You both spend one weird, and you both fight over that last point. Hank wins by rolling a six, taking you to eleven weird. Oh shit! What the fuck? But you win. What's your weird at, Lambert? Before this. Before this. A six. Seven weird. Seven now. So you had no, eight. No, no, no. No, I, I had eight by taking the oh, two. Oh, so your weird moves to nine then. Nine. By winning the yeah, roll. Nine. Winning Who's the, the weirdo just... now? Who's the weirdo <laughs> now? Yeah. So that means, uh, yeah, that means you bought two points, Hank, plus you gained a third from whatever your total okay. was before you started. My face yeah. hurts from laughing so much. So it's nine. If, so Hank's, uh, Hank's at nine weird. If cast votes do let us burn off weird, we each have one. That's true. Uh, so I'll burn off. I'll burn except off. Except Aaron. Yep. Except a little. Uh, so I'll burn off a weird now using my cast point. So that's eight weird. Um. <laughs> sorry. You're good. What's your weird at, Dad? Nine. After trying to help Ambrose, nine. Okay. Anybody else want to burn off weird? Um, I'm willing I'll to burn my vote. Later. I mean, I'm I want to find out uh, how my altercation with Isaiah unfolds before answering that question. What about Is Isaiah there... and Lambert? Um, what am I deciding? Do you want to use your? Well, Isaiah doesn't have one. Do you yeah. want to use your player vote from last week to burn off a point of weird? Yes. Also, Mel wants to know if you used the boost from earlier. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so. I think that, that was that okay. whole scenario there. Anybody who burned off a point of weird, remove one. Burn, baby, burn. This goes burn. Burn, no. <laughs> okay. Dad. Just as Lambert touches the rock, a split second later, you hit the rock. A split second after that, Isaiah's face hits the rock. However, Isaiah also manages to pull Mom into the rock with him. The fuck? Isaiah's, like Isaiah's result is radically higher than Mom's. <laughs> the dice roll. <laughs> 35 versus 14. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> so they just disappear from sight? No. Uh, Lambert seizes up, like almost like a stroke reaction. 
except no droopy face, and then collapses to the ground and has a minor seizure. What the fuck, nerd? Jeez. This poor kid already had asthma. Jeez. Oh no. Oh, and then you shit. hit the rock, just as Isaiah and Mom hit the rock, and the rock screams. And all the grass, like a shockwave goes out, and all of the grass gets knocked flat. And all of you, except Lambie, who's on the ground having a seizure, also get flung every direction because the shockwave hits you, because it's up here. Whoa. <laughs> and then the rock cracks down the middle. And basically fragments. I'm going to need Isaiah and Mom to make physical rolls. With whatever you got left in body. Also... Everyone takes two points of weird. Oh, I'm at 11 now. You burned one off. Are you sure you're at 11? Well, I was at 9. You burned and, one uh, off that puts you at 8, so now you're at 10. Oh, okay. Is this a uh, dice pool, or is it 1d6 and whatever you spend? This is 1d6 and whatever you spend. You're not against each other this time. You're against getting buried by fragmenting rock. K is frozen in the most perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You looked very excited, K. Did anyone else hit 10 weird besides Dad? I'm, I'm at 9. I'm at 9 weird. I'm towing the fucking line. I am going to spend 2 body. No, 3 body. Yeah, so, uh, you know how I keep saying that my dice want to kill me? Mm hmm I rolled a one. Glorious. Oh. oh, no. We're about to lose our parents, and then we're going to get raised by our aunt, who's actually your mom, who just calls me boy. That'll be great. Which body you got left, Mom? She'll love you, and I'll just be weird. One. Mm -hmm. Leave that last year to go to college. So your body is scratched out. Oh, no. A large piece of rock hits your lower back and shatters a vertebrae. Ooh. What'd you get, Isaiah? 19. <laughs> okay. Rachel, when did you last threaten your dice with the freezer? Oh, I need to break out my little uh, dice jam again, I think. They're getting cocky. Isaiah, you managed to roll out of the way without getting hurt at all. But you do lose one body from mom smashing your face into the rock before it exploded. Noted. Okay. Everyone roll weird except dead. Hmm. Is that dice pool of weird? Yep, dice pool of whatever your current weird is. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. It does not matter if you get sixes or not. Okay. Woo! <laughs> that would have been real bad. <clears throat> what anti get? Counting. Got it. Twenty-eight. What mom get? Winning. Twenty-five. What Isaiah get? Thirty. <laughs> and what did Hank get? Twenty-eight. Out of 28. Interesting. Okay. Isaiah. That's not the one I wanted. There was a lot of sixes. <laughs> That's all when, I'll say. When I had two said... sixes in my, in my last roll. <laughs> Four of when them. Lambert <laughs> said he wanted to be on Family Feud, this was not <laughs> <And that wasn't laughs> <laughs> Isaiah, you fulfilled your promise. You were flung out of the sawgrass and clear into the uh, interstate. What's your current weird at? Six. Six. Roll it one more time. God damn it. Please, please don't hate me. Tell me if you get sixes this time. You're gonna get hit by a semi. Your target I, number I is <laughs> your target number is fifteen. I got one six. Um, he reared a seven. That just um, so yes. his target number is to get above or under fifteen. Above. Oh okay. Uh, oh my god! I... 
16. <laughs> Your weird moves hey. to seven. The semi manages to hit its brakes and fishtails, but doesn't hit you. The semi driver gets out, rushes over to you, sees you're clearly hurt, stunned, and disoriented, hustles you into his semi, and takes off for the nearest town to get you some help. The nearest town is Solemn Vale. The semi disappears into the fog. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Lambie and Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you did are... you say K is an OK or K no, is an an OK? No, okay. an OK. OK, next. Confused. <laughs> you confused our actual K. <laughs> Lambie and Mary, what are your yes, weirds dear. at currently? Eight. And eight. eight. You are also flung clear of the sawgrass. Okay. You land on, yeah, you, you slide out and you get grass burns, or not grass burns, but, you know, uh, friction burns, more cuts from the demolished sawgrass but that's really it you stand up and look back at the field and uh it's almost like it flickers it flips upside down for a second and then right back up and it flickers and it's just a normal field of corn because you're in the midwest the car is there okay well, there's still okay there's two problems here <laughs> One, Henry still has the keys to these this damn car. The keys were locked inside the car. They were locked inside. You oh, could break open a window. The car no. is still there, and you you both yeah, they were sit up and look at the yeah, car. Yeah. And Isaiah sticks his head out and says, what are you doing on the ground? Get in. We got a long ways to go. A fuck? Uh -huh. You don't see Mary. You, you don't see Mom or Dad or Hank anywhere. It's like they were never there. Oh, do I still feel like I have a connection to the grass? You have a connection to something in the land, but the grass is gone. It's just corn now. Does Isaiah look like crazy or does he like he looked like in the grass or does he look like a normal? He looks like Isaiah, a normal Midwest dude in flannel and jeans. Who maybe married Mary and they had their baby together and is his name still Lambert? <laughs> yes, um... you look down, Mary, and there is a wedding ring on your finger. No! I love you, Aaron, but no! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Isaiah says, we're almost home. Oh, no. <laughs> it's only it's only an hour back to Solemn Vale. Uh, <laughs> is his name Lambert still? What is my name? <laughs> what Mother. is his name? Mother. <laughs> the great question, child. I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, we'll never know. Uh, oh no! <laughs> say my name. Say my name. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Lamy would still be like a good pet name for a small. Well, child. yeah. Okay. Calling your question. child Lamy is fine, but what yeah. is the child? Because I still have a shit ton of mind left. Yes. <laughs> Can. I do anything to like bring the rest of my family to this reality or plane or whatever the fuck is going on. Yes. You can take two more weird. <laughs> and live happily ever after. Can I donate weird to that? Shit, if no, you, if you, you can donate weird in this game, I'm a fucking bank. Well, <laughs> you could pay the price for Mary and live happily ever after Lambert. Somebody has to go to 10. Doesn't matter which yeah. of you. Uh, Mary looks at Lambert and then, like, gets down on his level, which, I mean, isn't probably that far because he's fucking 12, but... <laughs> now, I'm going to clarify before you finish that thought. If you get in the car... You'll drive home to Solemn Vale, and hey, uh, Dad and Mom will be there with Hank, because you've always gotten along with your family, and you all live in the same town, and it's always been happy. You're two separate happy nuclear families. But it's not them. 
And that that's that's what you do if you sacrifice the two weird. If you don't sacrifice the two weird, you'll never get them back, but you can walk away and remain yourself. This illusion will fade. You either walk away from the car, and you stay the ant, and it's just you and the kid, or you go to Solemn Vale and everyone lives. And this new reality becomes your reality. Nobody dies. Maybe. Just this once. Everyone lives. <laughs> <laughs> You'll still be the really weird ant. Weird with the Y. <laughs> It'll just be an ant to one instead of two. That is not what I thought you were going to do. And now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, I, I agree with the Doctor Who quote. Just this once, everyone lives. <laughs> now, keep in mind, you don't actually know what happened to Dad or Mom or Hank. But they're yeah, not you don't here with you. Like. So... The weird that, is forcing you to choose real life or a happy illusion. Hmm. The unknown of real life or the happy illusion where everything is fine, even though it's not real. But you'll forget it's not real. You want the blue pill? Or do you want the, the red, red pill? pill. Yes. <laughs> I will take the purple pill. <laughs> there is no purple pill. Eat them both. <laughs> and you both uh, have to make the choice separately. We're going to start with the ant. Uh. <laughs> Your reaction is appropriate. This should be a it's hard so choice. This is a hard choice, yeah, because her independence is what she fought so strongly for her entire life. Well, that's not. It's, that's not what's stopping her right now. It's. Do I do I know? You know everything I, I told know? you as the character. If you accept the illusion, okay. you'll forget it's fake and you will be happy forever. If you don't accept the illusion, you don't know what'll happen. It could just be you and the kid and everyone else is dead. You'll never you won't know till you decide. No pressure. <laughs> I mean Ty Tyler no, no is giving, Tyler's giving you the chance for a happy ending, and that never happens. God damn it, Australis. <laughs> oh, what did Australis do? Mary had a little lamb. I love it. Oh, God. So good. I am disappointed in all of us that it took us this long. To be fair, right? she's married. She's married Jacqueline. To be fair, she's married Jacqueline. So, you know, that's why. Mm. That's MJ. right. Kate did name me. Um, I did name you after my two aunts. This is yes. an interesting situation now. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we could always make it a poll in the chat. No, <gasps> make some out of choose. Make some out of choose. Okay, fair. Roll, roll a dice. A die. No, no rolling a die. Make a yep. choice. This oh, is what man. this game is about. <laughs> wow, Kay is a fucking hard ass over here. This actually is hitting the heart of full core, yes. Yeah, this is it. Like This, this is, is how those movies time. always end. It. Yeah, this is it. Make a real shit choice. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Come on, my Fitbit says you're raising my heart. Great. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You can pass and let Lambert pick first. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. Hey, oh, Lambert wait, rates I'll, been I'll, raised I'll, for the I'll, past I'll. hour. <laughs> I'm like, I'll pass it to you, Ambrose. I'm like, keep talking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Does Ambrose yeah, I love know about what folklore. Lambert would do? Yeah, we'll switch the scene to you because Lambert gets to choose, too, the illusion or reality. If either of you pick the illusion, it happens. If neither of you do, reality takes hold. Okay, okay, well, okay. If that's how that's gonna go, then Ambrose and I should message you our choices and not say them. Yeah, out. do it. Yeah, message, message. Do it. That's message. actually a good point, and then I'll make you wait till we see what happens with the other three. Oh, I love that. That's so spicy, Tyler. Oh, I love this. I'm so excited. So spicy. I'm so spicy right now. This is everything I love about full core. Hashtag Dirty Vortex, Solemn Veil, vale, great game. Play. Look how excited we all are. <laughs> how conflicted I am how emotionally involved we all are okay Lambert has made a choice good job Lambert I'm still agonizing thanks that's because for, from a child's point of view it's pretty simple but it's we're pretty, not going to yeah, spoil it is... I still need Mary's choice I mean you just did did I? The purple pill yes all right, you know what? I'm gonna do the dice thing. Even no dice. you pick reality. Uh, no, oh, no dice. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm, I'm doing a trick. I've done it before. 
So oh, is this the pick with no, the No, yeah, she's going to roll, and if I don't like what she rolls, then obviously I've made my choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Smart. so I, I've used this trick before where it's like, all right, so evens is you stay in reality. I just rolled. What do you want it to be? <laughs> I mean, it that's literally just asking her what do you want <laughs> it Yeah, but like in, in that moment where you Whoa. know that the die has been rolled and before Smooth you game. know the result, you know what you want it to be. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no, I did, but I did it doesn't really Steve. work when you know it's coming. <laughs> yeah, I, I did that to Steve when he was trying to decide where to live. Yeah. I remember. I remember yeah. that. Yes. It was beautiful. It's not even speed typing astral plays. I just don't know what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> uh, so what do you what do you feel like the character would want? Well that that that's the mindset. I, I say me, but I'm I'm full. Mary Jacqueline, Mary Jacqueline right now. Mary Jacqueline Bjornson, or I guess possibly Mary Jacqueline. Oh, you both married into MMs to be bees. I love this. <laughs> Mary Jacqueline. Well, we, we don't know yet if, if oh, uh, yeah. Mary is married. Cthulhu's reaction to that Anna was great want? because they just picked a name. That was not free plan. That was great. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, Mary Jacqueline McIntosh. Beatrice Bjornson. Oh my god, Lammy, I'd pick on you so much less if you were my cousin. I'd still pick on you, but so much less. <laughs> yeah, cousins are like best friends. Like, what the they're fuck? Pretty, yeah, they're pretty <laughs> friendly. I mean, some minor like goofs, but much less hardship for you. <laughs> yeah, it's when you, you, at Thanksgiving, you go on a walk with your cousin and come back with bloodshot eyes for some reason. <laughs> But you're really, really eager to eat uh, Grandma's Christmas cookies then. Yes, very. Except Hank, Hank can't give you bloodshot eyes because Hank gets fucking tested. Aunt Mary has made a choice. Seat. Now I want Christmas Lambert. cookies. What was your original oh, soul at the beginning? Who? Lambert. Lambert's original soul. Lam Lammy Lamb Lamb. Uh -huh. Original soul was six. Roll 66 and send me the result in the side. Spicy. Uh... You would. I was going to use <laughs> roll 20. <laughs> Quick Savannah, log out of roll 20. <laughs> I'm not looking at it. Oh, this is not for Savannah. This doesn't affect anything that happened. No, he Mary. means for it to be secret because he was using roll 20 to roll. Yeah, you, you can whisper GM. Mm -hmm. You can whisper roll me and only I would see it. Oh, I knew that. But that would That's just depend sad. if Am Ambrose could do it right. Yeah, how do I do that? That's, That's a very freaking. prominent button on the Dune character sheet. It which is. says a lot about Dune. Also, also on the paranoia character sheet. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna very test this and see if it works. This is not my role. Does anyone else see that role that just arrived? Shit. I didn't get notified. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's private. I can tell from the color. So do that again. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. It's not the full roll that I, they didn't have an option for six. Right. They, they they go together. I get it. Yep. Okay. Mom. 25. Hank, 28. Okay, Hank. You fulfilled your promise. Yes. I did. Yeah. You get flung backwards and you hit the ground hard and everything goes black. You wake up, and the world is spinning, and you feel like you want to throw up, but it's not because you got flung across the grass, it's because you're drunk as fuck. You hear the thump of rave music, and your buddies are stumbling over towards you, saying, come on, man, we gotta go home, it's late. Where's the keys? Let's yeah. drive. No, um, I'm, I, my, my, my fucking, and, I, I, and he's aware, like, even though he's drunk, he's aware. Of what's happening. Uh, and he's like, yeah, and so he pulls out his phone, he's like, Dude, I'm gonna get us a fucking bump and ride. I don't feel like driving that old piece of shit. Uh, and he'll order uh, on his fucking dad's credit card, like an Uber XL lug like black. <laughs> what was your total weird at at the end? Nine. Nine. Oh, your no, you're typing. I was going to, but I decided not to. Your choice. Random die roll. 
to see if you succeed at changing the past? Or spend that last point of weird and guarantee it? Uh, I'll random die roll. Percentile. Percentile, okay. Do I want highs or lows? Not telling you. Spicy. <laughs> oh shit, uh, I rolled a fucking one. <laughs> you rolled a one. That's impressive on a percentile. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's never happened, and I doubt it'll ever fucking happen again. It would have been a crit if we were playing on Saturday right now. Right? Yeah, that would have been a crit. <laughs> Curious crit. Mom, you fulfilled your promise. What's your weird currently at? Uh, seven. You get flung. You black out. You wake up in horrible, horrible pain. And at first you're like, what happened? Did I get impaled through the abdomen on a tree? And then you realize it's your labor in a hospital ward giving birth to your second child. And now... Here are your choices. Thank you for the follow, Dark Sun. <clears throat> I first read that as Bagel. All right, Dark Dad. Solemn Vale has claimed Dad. As you wander through the endless fields of sawgrass with the tripping over shattered pieces of rock. You think back on everything that just happened over that long, terrible day. Which of those four realities is the one that takes hold? Ten mean private, don't say it out loud. So tense. I'm like so excited and so nervous at the same time. I am internally hyperventilating right now. Yeah, <laughs> like externally, just like. I mean, so far. I can't believe I've rolled the fucking so one. So far, uh, Betty has gotten her happy ending. So. Yeah, oh, it was her, like, wish that Lambert, like, was biologically her son. Yeah, that was the deal that she made, was, like, if you murder Isaiah and then get Lambert to touch the rock, uh, he'll get to be your real son, because, like, um, like, the voice gave her a lot of paranoia about, like, oh, oh, Mary's Isaiah's father and mother are together again. They could take him away from you. You'll never see him take again. Lambert. They could take your lammy from you. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, I can make him so that, uh, so, like, she told the voice, I'm his mother, and every way that matters and the voice is like yeah except one we can fix that traitor so ass rock like, okay <laughs> yeah, so no. this is taking slight control of pcs because full core movies tend to end that way but what happens is dad chooses lambert's happy ending because in every way that mattered lambert was dad's son and he would want lambert to be happy Lambert was going to choose the illusion because Lambert wanted everyone to fall in love and get married. However, because the rock was shattered, the entity was never driven out of Lambert. The entity told Lambert, I can give you your happy ending in reality, 
But if you choose the illusion, I'll force you to remember it's fake while you're trapped in it forever. Because I don't want to leave you. Lambert chose the reality. In reality, Hank, uh, Hank Sr. never comes out of the soccer ass. Isaiah gets blasted back into whatever his previous life was. Hank Jr. does manage to retcon his past. But remains in the present. No one ever knew about that anyways, except, you know, the family of the dead girl who isn't dead anymore. Who, by the way, you're dating now, Hank. Oh, That's how that reality cool. resets. And to Mary. Do I... And uh, Mary Jacqueline and Beatrice, both grieving over the loss of dad, Bond, and rekindle their old flame. Maybe they'll Aww. get married someday and give Lambert that happy ever after everyone falls in love and gets married ending he wants. Lesbian moms. <laughs> maybe, oh maybe not, God. but it's possible. It's up to those two in their own brain canon what happens. I want to know what, what happens. happens. But the dark ending Tell me what with happens. La but the dark ending with Lambert is he remains. Man, Hank got off pretty great here. He didn't, does he remember killing his girlfriend, or is that all just gone, and now he just happens to be dating this chick? It slowly fades over time. Solemn Vale claims well, the old reality. Oh, that's fu Hank fucking rocked out on this. I mean, yeah, his dad's dead, but he fucking goes on to his scholarship, issue-free, is dating some girl. Like, win for Hank. I mean, <laughs> not like... Mary's tore up about her brother. But he was dying anyway. Hmm? Yeah, this is true. You we all knew it. We knew. We, he was terminally oh. ill, so... And yes, Do we remember those things, actually? I'm sure... Well, before I answer that, I'm sure the audience would also like to know. Between Mary and uh, Beatrice, would Lambert get that happy ending the Entity promised? If your romance was rekindled, bonding over grieving over Hank Sr.? I mean, yeah. It's up like, to the two cause... of you. It's your characters. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be for it, because, like, um, even though Hank was terminally ill, like, Betty still cared about him. Like, a year from now, a year from, a year from now, it doesn't matter. It's, like, she still That's lost him. And, uh, yeah, she would, um... Who is terminally ill? Oh, it's just a game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Bob sighting. Yeah. <laughs> Bob I'm a Bob, bro. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and like uh, she, she would probably definitely end up with. Um, she's not lesbian. She's bisexual. Uh, oh, yeah. So. So is Mary. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or Pan, or who knows? Who cares? Yeah, right. Labels. The real question is: Would Mary stick around for a long-term relationship? Yeah, with oh, the fucking yeah. with, two, with <laughs> two kids. One of which is yours. One of which is yours. Well, no. So that's my question because B Betty apparently got her happy ending. So oh yeah, that's true. So does the second so child is... actually belong to? That's the part that Lambert's deal broke. Betty also gets screwed in this deal. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, did they somehow? <laughs> Lambert, I was willing to murder for you. <laughs> yeah, you you have the dream of giving birth, Betty, but it ends up being just a dream, and you wake up on the side of the road with Mary and Lambert standing over you, going, "Oh God, you're still alive." Because reality Am I sets also in. On the road? Yes, Am I also on the road? reality sets in, and the the four of you actually survive. Um, five. He's just in. in New York uh, Isaiah somewhere. survived. You know, got picked up by a trucker. Yeah, Isaiah, you don't know. You never, you never see him again. But the the movie viewers know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I understand. Isaiah's well, since you took my movie moment though. away earlier, um, yeah, she would stick around. Okay. What did you pick okay, out of curiosity? Now, I know. Now I really want to know what you voted. Yeah, Savannah, what'd you vote for? What'd you pick? Why do you want to know? You just uh, like watched me sit here for five minutes agonizing about <laughs> That's it. Why I want to know. Wanna know. Why I want to know. <laughs> What'd you pick? I know, but I'm not telling. <laughs> I know. How are you allowed to know? Because he had he to pick. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, he saw right. everyone's pick. choices and had to pick the one that stuck. Mm -hmm. 
The audience is begging you. Fine. <laughs> if you are not comfortable, you do not have. Do to not do actually it. have to do it. We'd love to know. I I picked reality because she couldn't uh, live a lie. She couldn't live a lie. So, so she succeeded, essentially. Yeah. So she yeah. Because so reality is what wins. Reality is what wins. Speaking of, do, what do we remember from the grass? Do we remember everyone else's shenanigans, like all the paper cuts on your ass? Do you remember? Yeah, oh yeah, like. <laughs> you remember it eventually as you pull over to the side of the road and were assaulted by some fanatics who were uh, in the woods and were about to pull some kind of horrible cult crime. And uh, only some of you survived and got out because that's the way it was reported. The people in the church mm -hmm. were the ones who were blamed for everything. However, you remember the truth in your dreams. And it's up to you if your characters accept the dreams as truth or what you were told. Solemn Veil fades in, in your mind, but the nightmares persist because only one of you actually got to Tent Weird. Ooh, so you all remember. Sweet. It's up Drawing to you if you think it's scared. a dream or not. Yes. I think Hank chooses to believe it's a dream. I mean, his worst issue was taken care of. And yeah, he misses his dad, but apparently his dad, you know, had terminal cancer, they'll find out from the doctor. And so he, I think in, as a young adult, he can sort of, he gets angry upset, but I think he, he lives out. Or do we do we do epilogues in this? Sorry, do we do epilogues or no? I'm good with that, yeah. I was gonna say, I think he lives out his dad's dream. I think he goes and does like pro ball at the university level. Mm -hmm. I don't think he like, I don't think he actually becomes like a professional football player or anything crazy like that. But like he does the college football thing and does pretty well with it. And then probably like, I don't know, marries the girl that he killed in the other reality. And, <laughs> It lives a, a happy, normal life and has a lot of nightmares and takes pills and sometimes he drinks too much. Uh, yeah, I think Betty uh, sort of uh, ascribes the dreams to like PTSD. Uh, goes to therapy, encourages everyone else to go to therapy, definitely puts Lambert in therapy. <laughs> Strongly encourages Hank, but he's an adult, so it's not like she can make him. I mean, you could do it for a year at least because he was 17, so you can kind of make it do it for a year. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he, he gets uh, therapy at until, least a year. Yeah, at least a year. Probably like some family therapies. So it's like he can work out like all the changing relationships and stuff and like how that would go. But uh, yeah, uh, Betty would just throw herself into the role of uh, wife and mom and like work really really hard to be the perfect homemaker like that would be her sort of like addictive coping mechanism and like it would get real toxic because uh, you know even though despite the therapy she would assume like a really like toxic positivity mindset <laughs> so you know theoretically happy ending but there's a couple sharp edges in there Okay. Anybody else want to give themselves an epilogue? Hey, Lammy, how are you and your demon? <laughs> <laughs> How's that go? There's an imaginary um, friend that ain't so imaginary. Oh, yeah. I, I figure that because, um, like, this was like, we believe that this was a cult that did this to us. Um, like, Betty becomes like one of those real staunch, all religion is bad atheists. Ooh, okay. Uh, Tyler, uh -huh. what in your, like, since, what did that entity ultimately want? To, uh, possess you fully. Shove the kid out and take over the body and live again. Oh. Uh, well, they eventually reach an agreement, except for the fact that the, the entity wants to go to university and Lambert wants to become an acoustic guitar musician uh, and live in California, and the entity wants to move to New England. They compromise by staying in the Midwest and going to community college. <laughs> So, do we do we have to live in the Midwest? Nope. 
<laughs> Once you're free of Solemn Vale, you can go anywhere you want because you survived. You won. Do you convince? Do you convince Betty to move to the city? Oh well, <laughs> considering Mary was very well off in New York and probably had a swank ass loft, uh, she probably would have moved the whole family there. I mean, okay. I'm I'm done with uh, fields. Uh, <laughs> She's like, I never so. want to see grass, grass again. again. Exactly. <laughs> Concrete city, baby. <laughs> That's what happens then. Jet setters in New York. So, Aaron in in our Twitch chat said it wants you, Lambert. So that gave me an idea. Night, baby. In dreams. Good night. Good night, Bob. Good night, Bob. Uh, In dreams, Lambert and this entity become lovers. Uh, And. (laughs) Jesus Christ. What the actual. It's Aaron. It's Aaron's fault. Aaron, no blame. I, I, this is not on me. This is this I'm, is Amber's is not dumping this one at my doorstep. It's to Aaron. Aaron gets you out Lambert. the fucking broom. It's like, bitch, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I just I have a terrible image in my head. Has anyone seen the Boss Baby too? No. <laughs> I'm just picturing that like yes. Hank becomes like the older brother and then the demon Lambert becomes like the slick Alec Baldwin baby. <laughs> like business baby. <laughs> yep. So as like adults. Um I also choose to have Mary. Uh she knows that her dreams are are, are real. They're not just dreams. She remembers everything. Um which also means sometimes she brings strange things home and gives them to Lambert in hopes of getting rid of the fucking demon in her demon child. Demon in her child. <laughs> because, well, because you said it was a family curse, so obviously she knows about it. Well, it was it was Isaiah's family. It's, yeah, it's, it's this side. Oh, well. <laughs> she put, lucky, she, she eventually, years club. later, puts two and two together. And then every once in a while, because she has, like, her artsy friends, she gets her artsy friends to get her, like, black market deals of, like, items to bring home to be like, does this work? Demon be gone? No? Okay, I'll send it back. It's an interesting start to a potential future story. I'll write that down. I, I, what I, did you I, hand me this time? <laughs> I love the idea also of this, like, you fucking marry, you're my aunt, who's actually my mom's brother, who fucking marries my mom and you still call me boy. And like, you bring special gifts for my brother that's actually your son. And Hank, who chooses not to believe this, is just like, thinks you fucking hate him. Like, it's just... <laughs> Mostly happily ever after. <laughs> oh, she, she finally starts calling Hank, Hank. But mostly just to honor her brother. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even about him. It was just honoring her brother. I love her. Oh, poor dad. I feel like that's a good place to cl- close the storybook on that tale. Yeah. But it's only the beginning of the seasons of weird. Seasons the night closes weird. in around us and Solemn Vale sleeps, embracing dad in its warm, uh, its warm hugs and cuddles. Until next week, anyways. As for other terrifying tales and awesome adventures you can enjoy with Vorpal Tales on Monday, we are currently playing uh, Dune. Are we still playing Instruments of Canley? Yes. Yes. Followed by, of course, this game, which would be more Solemn Vale. On Tuesdays, we are playing Twilight 2000, followed by Mecha Hack. On Wednesdays, The One Ring. On Thursdays, we are playing Vampire the Requiem, followed by Pathfinder 2E. On Fridays, Call of Cthulhu, Masks of Nyarla Dotet, followed by Dracogenesis, our... 5e game on Saturdays, Warhammer Wrath and Glory, Martyrs of Persepolis, followed by SCP the RPG, and finally on Sundays, Plangea, the new 5e Kickstarter from Atlas Games, followed by a couple more sessions of Cult Divinity Lost, and then we return to Mage the Ascension White Walls Season 2, long awaited, with a few new faces. Players, let the viewers know the next show they can catch you in, and anything else you're doing online that's cool that they should follow. Hey, I'm Eric, uh, Admiron Recluse Online, and tonight I played uh, Dad, uh, Hank, uh, sorry, Henry, and uh, you can find me here tomorrow for Twilight 2000. Hey, everybody, I have played Lambert and his uh, sidekick, question mark. You can find me all over the internet as Am Changeling, and you can find me on Etsy at Neat and Co Designs, and you can also find me tomorrow playing Twilight 2000. I'm probably going to die. We're probably all going to die, but mostly me, you know, with the dice rolls that I have. 
Uh, and hi, I'm Savannah. You can find me online at Miss Miss Emo Fox. Tonight I played Mary Jacqueline Bornson. And you know what I just thought of? Neither Betty or Mary had to legally change their name. Nope. <laughs> when they got married. <laughs> Um, you can find me coming up next on Thursday for Pathfinder. Um, and this weekend, uh, I will not be in any games, uh, due to, uh, games not running because of travel and packs. Um, but normally I also have my own Twitch channel where I only stream on Sundays with Oh Hello Mare and we play some Stardew Valley goodness. Um, but otherwise, you can always almost find me right here on Vorpal. Hi, I'm Kay. And tonight I played Hank Bjornsson Jr., uh, who made off pretty good considering Solemn Vale. I do not expect that to happen for the rest of my characters in the next of these Chronicles. Uh, you can find me at PuppyLover12398 on Twitter, sometimes seven. And yeah, I will not be around this weekend for shenanigans because uh, PAX Unplugged. But if you're there and you want to say hi, feel free to say hi. And uh, I'll be checking out the, you know, the Gehenna Gaming booth and the Indie Games On Demand. Lots of cool stuff there. Uh, but you will see me again on Monday for our newest rendition of Solemn Vale, which I am ridiculously excited for. Hello, uh, my name is Rachel. Uh, you can find me Stolen Fires pretty much everywhere, uh, especially Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Uh, as far as the next thing that you will see me in uh, will be Thursday, Session Zero for Rebellion, a Vampire the Requiem Belial's Brood Chronicle. I'm really excited. I've got a cast of really strong role players. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, and then theoretically, I'm going to be running Masks of Nyarlath Hotep on Friday, but I've already had two players cancel, uh, one of whom is the producer, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm working on some really cool game writing. Um, if you go to uh, Keldon Khalil on uh, Twitter, you can see a preview. We're doing a player's guide. So how you can convert V5 Sabat uh, into something that you can actually play. Uh, that's going to be really cool. I've got a couple things in the hopper for my Ko-Fi. Uh, yeah, I'm super busy, but it's cool. Uh, yes, me. Hello, I am Aaron. Uh, you can find me at Great Cthulhu everywhere, uh, mostly Twitter and Twitch. Um, next thing, I guess we're not doing SCP this Saturday, presumably. Correct, because um, of packs. Okay. And trips. So then next time uh, you will see me will be Monday for the new rendition of Zombieville. Or potentially on my Twitch channel. <laughs> And for the curious audience, our next story in Solemn Vale will be sitting up. A close friend and or loved one of each of the characters has recently passed on. And the family has asked each of them to do a traditional wake, which means sitting up all night with the body. What could go wrong? And now for the Ride or Die viewers, it's a vote time. But it's going to get a little weird. Audience, you can vote for any one player. And I will let everyone know what that's worth next week during character creation. Players! You all need to make two votes each tonight. Which again, I will explain why when we create the next batch of characters next week. Begin. Okay, well that makes it easy because I'm, I'll usually have to, you know, pour, pull the, what's left of my hair out every time I, it comes down to vo vote time. Uh, I will give one to Savannah because uh, of your choice at the end was uh, heart wrenching to say the least, and uh, that was really good. Um, and um, uh, I'll have to give this uh, next one to, I'll have to give it to Aaron because uh, he put up with a lot of shit, <laughs> including, you know, murder. <laughs> so thanks for being a good sport for all of that. That's, yeah, I've, I've earned my debts. <laughs> <laughs> even though i get two it's still really difficult uh the first one is definitely going to have to go to savannah for that whole um the yes yes you were very obviously agonizing over that decision but when you what? finally told everyone about it like the couldn't live a lie 
yeah, that was good. Oh, uh, now the rest of you beautiful people. God damn it. That is making it very difficult. I enjoy how you're actually scanning people in Zoom right now. It's great. <laughs> um I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to, to mom who is not mom but also mom. Uh because of the fact that even though Lambert wasn't your own kid, you were willing to practically kill literally kill anyone else who intended him harm. Yeah. I mean I, I am playing him after my own mom and like she would absolutely murder anyone who threatened her babies. Yeah, it's her baby. She <laughs> raised him since he was a little, a little infant bab. Yeah, I was also yeah. sort of uh, channeling a little bit of Regina from Once Upon a Time. Uh, and just nice. how avidly she's like, no, Henry is my son. That, that means it's me. Another agonizing choice for me. Yes. <laughs> oh, um. My first vote has to go um, to Eric because, as a dad, he paid the ultimate sacrifice. Um. He did. He's the one that didn't make it. Um. And then. My second vote has to go to Kay. You played Hank so perfectly as dumb jock teen Thor um, and all of his like stupid shenanigans. Um, <laughs> and it was just like, I was constantly like, I'm going to strangle you. <laughs> love it yeah yeah no he was um all the good parts of all the bad parts of a himbo without the good part yeah. uh <laughs> uh so i think i am going to give i i have to i have savannah has to get my first one like i can't not like just the agonizing scene and then the choice and the reasoning it's really good and then i have to i think give my second one to rachel because just my heart ached for betty and just like this Thank idea you. and that fear because like that is her child and like give it to the moms yeah to the moms and just yeah that just ugh, aches and also because i think it's fucking hilarious and delightful that the secret was that they drunk kissed and then in the end they got married <laughs> so they both get points <laughs> There's probably some unprocessed guilt still there. Oh, for sure. It's okay that I did it if I ended up marrying her after you died. I, I want to know how the fucking grandparents took this bullshit, Tyler. <laughs> Folk horror movie would not answer that question. <laughs> uh, I am going to give my votes to Ambrose and Kay just through this scene at The Rock and just how far you both escalated that i want to leave no you're not come back here you little nerd but i really want to get back in the car that was a really great thing to watch it was fantastic me uh yes uh i'm giving it to mom and dad yeah fighting for your kids love that shit excellent being excellent to each Tyler, other who do you vote for um, well, you can't ask a storyteller that. That's not fair. Who's the person who <laughs> voted for me to bring chaos? Whoever that was. <laughs> uh, I oh, forgot. I was my Betty. That oh no, Betty. sort of sullied, sort of sullied some of the other gods on us. Oh nice. One of my partners, and I know where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> you can pee on him in his sleep right now. <laughs> I'm yes. gonna pee on you. I'm gonna pee on you. I love the fucking moment where we got to just make faces and punchy motions at each other. Nope. I think it has a different meaning when you pee on your partner, though. A little bit. <clears throat> <clears throat> My answer to that would be I put uh, Aaron in last second, booted him, and said, "Here, you're an NPC now. Good luck, kid." So that's why he would get a vote if I voted. For 
I would give one both to uh, Savannah and Eric because they were the ones put through the ringer of the folk horror tale at the end there. They're the ones who were really getting it smushed by the horror. I would have given it to Teen Thor because you played that part amazingly. Savannah was right. Uh, Lambert, is, as always, is amazing as a child. And <laughs> uh, I enjoyed the reality of the motherly reactions from Mom. But I would have found a reason to vote for all of you, but those would have been the key ones. The emotions we pulled out were very full core, and I enjoyed it a lot. So, excellent being excellent to each other, and until next week, enjoy your nightmares. And if you hear any weird clicking, don't look under the bed. Offer it a chocolate. It's just.